nag-chill according to Sir jo- Jeffrey. Quite good. Wow. <laughs> Stressful sa pagpapasa ng end-term requirements. Tama, ma'am. Ayan po. Ayan. So, feeling good, relax. O, so, yung iba po, relax. Feeling fine. Ayun, si ma'am Mayan. Masaya naman daw po siya. Okay, so ayan. So, thank you very much po sa inyong um, answers. Bongga kasi fourth day na ng training with the ICT. Yes, tama po. Ayan, so... Uh, po, this week po, um, sunod-sunod po yung training natin with the ICT. So hopefully po nakasama po tayong lahat. Katatapos ng mag-program ng mobile app, sir. Medyo po yet po. <laughs> wow, nice. Si Sir Daryl. Wow. Programmer pala si Sir Daryl. Congrats po. Nice. Feeling multitask. Game na. Okay, ready na daw po si Sir Sherwin. Okay. Um, next question ko naman po is um, for me to understand uh, you, my dear teachers, as well. Um, may idea po ba kayo about gamified assessment? So pakisabi lang po kung yes or no sa ating uh, chat para malaman ko po. Meron po ba tayong idea about gamified assessment? Ayun, si ma'am... Sino po ito? Mimali Pangasinan. <laughs> Ayun, si ma'am Jean. Ayun, yes. So marami po ang may alam sa gamified assessment. Wow! I am using quizzes. Okay, Sir Elmar. So, sana po ma- madagdagan ko po yung knowledge na, Sir. B, sa mga logo na sa screen, meron po. Okay, sige po. And uh, last question would be, um, anong type of learning po yung binibigay ng school nyo? Is it blended, synchronous, or asynchronous po? Pakitype naman po sa ating chat. Ah, so yun, may blended po si ma uh, abs, uh, ano po? Lalaki po ba yun o babae, ma'am Absidy? Synchronous, blended, ayun. Ah, okay. So majority po sa atin is blended. So both synchronous and asynchronous, which is um, really a requirement for this type of um, training kasi po uh, kakailanganin po natin ng internet for gamified assessment. So yan, blended. Ayan. So thank you very much po sa ating mga participants who answered my question. Okay? Sige. So let's proceed na po. So once again, I will be presenting um, my topic which is gamified assessment using Kahoot, Quizzes, and GameKit. So I am Sir Jerickson Estrua po. I am a senior high school student and I have been teaching for about um, six years na po. So nagturo po ako for uh, one year in college and five years now in the senior high school. So I'm also one of the pioneer teachers in the senior high school. So medyo um, marami na pong nangyari sa senior high school um, magmula po yung nag-start yung implementation nito. Okay? So what are our objective for this um, training? So I will be presenting four objectives. So... Okay, so the first thing that oh, we need to, um, uh, nito, makuha po yung goal natin is to understand gamification and when to use it. So yung first part po ng ating um, training would be about the theories and concepts of gamified assessment para magkaroon lang po tayo ng understanding on how to use it. Um, we will also design and create gamified assessment for learners. Kaya nga po, um, this afternoon, um, I will give you the time to create your own assessments, okay? Para matesting po talaga natin on how to create our own games, okay? Um, with this type of uh, training, we will also uh, give our students an engagement and motivate uh, motivation, okay? Para po pag nag-implement po tayo sa ating mga classes, okay, mas magiging maganda po yung ating mga synchronous session using this gamified assessment. And the last one is to help learners to reflect on their performance, okay? Kasi yun din naman po yung goal natin with gamified assessment, okay? Um, for us to understand our students' um, learning styles, okay? Ano po ba yung mga strengths and weaknesses nila, and so on. So here are our four objectives for the day. Okay, so our schedule, um, I will be presenting um, gamified assessment for 8.30 to 10 o'clock. <laughs> so, aabot po siguro tayo, kaya yan. And, and then, I will be presenting the game applications at 10, 10 to 12 o'clock. So, merong 10 minutes break lang po for me to prepare lang po yung ating applications. And for this afternoon, um, I will give you the time to create your own assessment. So, you will be choosing two applications and you will be creating your own quiz or assessment, okay? 
So each of the application that you will be using will would have five to ten items each. Okay. So yung three hours po natin, ay three hours pa. Two, uh, two and a half hours po natin. Um, kasha na po yun to create your own assessment. So para po dun sa mga gumagamit ng phones, wag po kayo mag-alala kasi kaya naman pong um, uh, gumawa ng isang assessment using your um, mobile applications. And uh, for 3.30 to 5 o'clock, uh, selected teachers will represent, uh, I will present their output. So uh, sabi po ni Ma'am Rika, we have three regions uh, today. So region 1, 2, and CAR. So each of the region um, will uh, have two representatives, representatives each po to present their output. So hopefully po, um, makagawa po kayo kasi uh, requirement din po siya para makuha po natin yung ating certificates. Okay, so ready na po tayo. <clears throat> Type yes po kung ready na po tayo. Okay, para mag-proceed na po ako sa ating uh, discussion. Okay, so thank you po. Okay, so let's start with our discussion on gamified assessment. So what is game-based assessment? So before we proceed to that, let's define first um, assessment. So when we say assessment, this refers to the wide variety of methods or tools that educators, such as us, okay, use to evaluate, measure, and document the academic readiness, learning progress, skill acquisition, or educational needs of our students. And as teachers, we follow our curriculum, right? And we have here the different competencies that we need to measure, okay? to evaluate the learning of our students, okay? So, gamit po yung ating mga uh, performance standards or um, yung ating mga competencies, gusto po natin malaman kung talaga natututo po yung mga bata, okay? Dun sa mga tinuturo po natin with our lessons and the topics that we share to them, okay? So, that is assessment. What about game-based assessment? So, these are games which allows the measurement of knowledge, skills, values, personality, motivation, and competencies of our learners, okay? So through games, we can now understand our students, okay? Yung kanilang skills. Ano ba yung mga skills na meron sila in terms of um, team strategy ba or individual strategy ba ang kaya nilang gawin and so on. Their personalities in the games, we can also understand that. Um, how they are being motivated kung nagpapagiging ba tayo, mas nagiging masayo ba yung learning or mas madali po ba nilang naiintindihan yung lesson and so on. So that is game-based assessment. Okay? So uh, with game-based assessment, this allows us to integrate learning into assessment. Okay? So meaning, um, it influences the cognitive ability of our learners and um, it uh, provides them or actively engage them with the learning. Okay? So, um, Paggamit po ng assessment, mas madali po nating maibigay yung outcome na gusto nating makuha with our students. Okay? So, um, with games po, um, mas nagiging deeper po yung understanding nila with that particular topic. Okay? Kasi uh, it gives them a sense of fun eh. Di ba po? Kapag na, natu natutuwa tayo sa isang activity, mas madali nating na-absorb yung mga natututunan natin. Okay? Actively engage. Okay, our students. Ano pa? Uh, with game-based assessment, it motivates and encourage, uh, encourage student perseverance. Okay? Nagpa-persevere sila kasi nga gusto nilang manalo okay, with that particular game. So with, uh, with game-based assessment, it also allows us to have what we call psychometric analysis of our learners. So ano po yung psychometric analysis natin? So pwede natin malaman yung kanilang um, numerical reasoning, yung kanilang verbal reasoning with our assessment tool, um, inductive reasoning po ba, diag to, diagrammatic reasoning, logical reasoning, and error checking. So with this type of assessment, okay, it allows us to collect more information about our learners and their behavioral patterns. Okay? Kasi nga, di ba po, ang ating mga learners, hindi naman po pare-parehas ang kanilang pagkakatuto. And they have their own strengths and weaknesses. And gusto natin na parang mas ma-improve pa yung kanilang strengths and mas um, uh, yung mga weaknesses nila can uh, be converted into their own strengths. So that's uh, another um, goal of game-based assessment. Okay? Ano pa po? Um, with game-based assessment, um, this allows us to understand the learning styles of our students. Okay? 
So with these learning styles, um, it has a higher interactivity and engagement um, with game-based assessments. And um, this will definitely appeal to the millennials and Gen Zs, which is our students, di ba po? Yung ating mga estudyantes ay Gen Zs. So pag sinabi po natin Gen Zs, so they were born um, with their technolo uh, with technology on their surrounding already. So parang ako rin po, I'm part of the millennials. So nung pinanganak po ako, meron na pong mga cellphones, okay, meron na pong mga computers. And nowadays, um, students are more uh, fond of using their phones majority of the times, di ba po? At pag nag-aaral po sila, hindi naman na po sila, ano eh, hindi naman na po sila masyado sa papel, di ba? Sa printed materials. Majority of the students learn through their phones nowadays. Tama po ba ako? <laughs> di ba? Parang ganun po eh. Okay? At mas nag engage sila kapag nakakagamit po sila ng technology. Yun po yung um, characteristic na po ng mga millennials and Gen Zs today. Okay? So yun po, understand their learning styles. Okay? Next, um, it also promotes uh, learning that is fun. Di ba po? Sabi ko nga po kanina, mas madali po tayo natututo kapag masaya po yung ginagawa natin. Yung hindi po stress yung mga bata. Okay? Tapos uh, na-excite sila kasi game nga siya. Okay, yung competition nila, yung camaraderie with their um, classmates, okay, na-enhance po natin using game-based assessment. And it says here, game-based assessments are fun, hence they can eliminate the tension of the traditional assessment. Di ba po? Kapag nakakarinig po sila ng quiz or kaya test, medyo stress na yung mga estudyante kasi nga eh, ay, ano, may test na naman, hindi ako naka-review, ganyan-ganyan. So, uh, with game-based assessment, yun po, ini-eliminate po natin yung tension na yun. Okay? Ayan po. So, those are um, one of the, uh, those are the things that um, uh, game-based assessment is um, going to. Okay? Ayan. So, proceed po tayo. Ayan. So, gamification is um, the application of the typical elements of the game. Okay? To non-game situations and scenarios. Uh, so in this case, educational and educational assessment activities. This, this is according to Oliver in 2017. So sa game-based assessment, um, meron po tayong different elements na sinusundan. Okay? Sa, uh, sa games din po, meron din po tayong sinusundan na set of elements. Okay? So what are these elements? We have the rules, the competition, the goals, the outcomes, the different decisions, and emotional attachment. So I'll give you an example of a game. So yung game po na nilalaro ng mga kabataan po namin na um, tumbang preso. Okay? So yun po. <clears throat> Kasi 90s kid din po ako eh. So yun yun po yung mga nilalaro namin ng kabataan po. So yun po. We have a set of rules. So sa rules po ng tumbang preso, meron tayong taya at saka meron tayong mga players. So uh, ang goal natin dun sa taya ay makahuli ng player para siya naman po yung magiging taya na magbabantay dun sa lata. Okay? Yung mga player naman natin, ang, ang kailangan po nilang gawin ay mapatumba yung ating, um, ng, yung ating lata na hindi po nahuhuli nung taya. So that's the rule of the game. So for competition, syempre pagalingan naman yung mga players dyan kung sinong pinakamagaling magpatumba ng lata. Okay? So competitive play. Okay? With goals, ano po ba yung goal natin? Yun, ma hindi po tayo mahuli at mapatalsik natin yung lata doon sa taya. Okay, so that's the goal. Outcome po natin, okay? So, um, ang outcome natin dito is nagkakaroon ng strategic um, learning yung mga bata kung paano nila papatumbahin yung lata. And then decisions, okay, strategy din po nila and emotional attachment nagkakaroon ng yung um, sense of uh, sportsmanship with our uh, players in the game. So yun, yun yung mga elements po na kailangan nating may legay din po sa ating mga gamified assessment. Okay, so rules, competition, goals, outcome, decisions, and emotional attachments. Okay? Okay, so with game-based assessment, um, this can also be used for motivation, content mastery, and facilitation of higher order thinking skills and social skills. And with game-based assessment, gusto po natin makater both extrinsic and intrinsic motivation. So for extrinsic motivation, um, 
uh, the student is motivated to perform an activity to earn a reward or avoid punishments. Okay? ba? Diba? Uh, gusto po ng nila mag number one sa class or kaya dapat mag top yung grupo nila and so on. So for intrinsic motivation naman, more on self yan. So uh, this is allowing the students to be motivated to perform an activity for its own sake and personal reward. Okay? So gusto nila na mag... Um, Manalo sila kasi gusto, napapasaya sila kapag nananalo sila. So yun, both extrinsic and intrinsic motivation. So well-developed games should be a starting point uh, which provides exciting experience that complement your traditional educational methodologies. Kaya nga po, um, um, sa ating mga teachers, okay, uh, maganda po na nagkakaroon tayo ng mga motivational activity sa klase. Kung hindi man po motivational activity, pwede rin po siyang um, um, parang games, okay, by the end of the session, or kaya um, strategic activities na parang mas mat, uh, matututo yung mga bata using these kinds of activities. Uh, Nagre-raise ang hand po si Ma'am Mildred. Hello po, Ma'am. Ay, okay. Baka napindot niya lang po. Okay. So, tuloy ko po. Ayan. So, higher order thinking skills and social skills po. Okay. Next po. Okay. With game-based assessment, um, gamification should also provide both students and teacher with feedback about the engagement and learning during the gaming session. So, maganda rin po na after natin maibigay yung um, assessment natin is tanong po natin yung mga bata. Okay. Nag-enjoy ba tayo sa activity natin? Okay? Ano kaya sa tingin niyo yung pwede pa nating idagdag or uh, ano pa sa tingin niyo yung parang medyo kulang dun sa activity natin? Or kaya ano yung mga natutunan nyo using this gamified assessment? So feedback is also important. Okay? Kailangan po natin malaman yung kanilang um, mga comments, um, their opinions, their responses about the, our assessment. Okay? Parang... Um, sa pagbibigay lang din po ng activity yan, di ba po? Pag sa research, for example, di ba? Magbibigay po ng draft yung ating mga bata. And then tayo as teachers, magpa-provide tayo doon ng mga uh, um, improvement para pag nag-submit po sila ulit, okay, mas mag magiging maganda po yung kanilang output. Okay, so that's um, one of the importance of um, feedback. Okay, so uh, with feedback, makikita rin po natin yung different ideas, uh, advice, results, and even the ratings okay, of our students. Kung medyo mababa yung first draft nila, okay, siyempre kailangan nyo yung dagdagan ng mga madaming feedback para mas mag-improve na mag-improve yung mga bata. Okay, so that is um, feedbacking. Okay, so um, with game-based assessment, okay, uh, this is also um, adhered to one of the models of Uh, Dr. Ruben R. Puentedura. Okay, Dr. Ruben R. Puentedura. So, yung gamified assessment is linked to um, SAMR model. So, pag sinabi po natin SAMR, S stands for substitution, A for augmentation, M for modification, and R for redefinition. So, um, this model is essentially a planning tool that helps to design better learning activities for students. And this framework provides pedagogical insight into how technology can and should be used in the classroom. Okay? So, with the use of technology, we can create different learning activities and assessments. Okay? So, S for substitution. So, it means that the technology acts as a direct substitute with no functional change. So, ibig sabihin, pinapalitan lang po natin yung um, isang um, uh, bagay okay, sa traditional way. For example po, pag note-taking, okay, pag nagsusulat po tayo sa ating mga notebook, ano kayo yung pwede natin isubstitute with that? Using your phone. Tama? So, meron po tayong note sa ating mga smartphone. So, that is an example of substitution. Next is augmentation. So, technology acts as a direct substitute with functional improvement. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, pinalitan po natin siya, pero meron siyang additional feature. Okay? So, that's augmentation. Um, yung mga bagong notes din po ngayon, lalo na sa Apple product, pwede na rin po kasi mag-take ng photos. Okay? Doon sa note. Okay? So, aside from um, taking the uh, words, okay, we can also take pictures using note. Um, another example of augmentation for note-taking is note 
uh, uh, ano yun to? Microsoft OneNote, yung OneNote po. Kasi pwede rin po kayo maglagay ng mga pictures dun or kaya mga PDF file. And for na- modification naman po, um, technology allows for significant task redesign. So babaguhin po natin siya ng konti. And for redefinition, okay, redefining learning. Okay, so technology allows for the creation of new tasks that is previously inconceivable. Okay? So I'll give you an example para mas maintindihan po natin lalo ang some R model. Kasi later on, um, sa inyong mga assessment, um, pwede nyo po siyang integrate uh, even though you are using modular um, learning. Okay? So pwede po kayong maglagay doon ng mga QR code for video sa inyong mga modules or kaya pwede rin po kayong maglagay doon ng mga link Okay, yung mga bitly link natin para pag clinic po ng batang yun, makikita nila yung um, uh, additional resources na pwede po nilang basahin or panoorin okay, using your module. So yun, pwede nyo na po um, i-enhance yung inyong mga module using this particular model. Okay, so let's see um, examples of some our model. Okay, so here are the different class tasks. So let's see, so meron tayo note-taking, meron tayo research, presentation, file sharing, reading, assessment, and so on. So sa note-taking, ito po yung nasabi ko kanina. So substitute natin, pwede natin gamitin yung notes. Tapos sa augmentation, pwede tayong gumamit ng oh, note apps. Yung sinabi ko pong one note, pwede po yun. For modification, all students use notability for all notes. Okay, So notability is another example of a website or application. And for redefinition, um, the teacher have access to all student notes. So, ibig sabihin, hindi lang po sa bata yung mga notes niya, pero nagiging involved na rin po yung teacher dun sa note nung bata. So, ano po yung pwede nilang gamitin? Pwede po tayong gumagam- gumamit dito ng Jamboard. Kung familiar po kayo sa Google Jamboard, so, redefining na po yun for note-taking. Okay? Kasi pwede na silang mag-brainstorming using that particular application. Okay? So, that's redefinition. Okay? Another one, for research. Uh, for substitution, um, syempre, uh, pag-research po usually, di ba, pa traditional way, uh, the students needs, uh, needs to go to the library to research some um, information using books, thesis materials, or kaya articles, and so on. So with substitution, we can now use Safari or Google or Mozilla Firefox to copy and paste information, okay? But um, as uh, digital teachers, dapat, sinasabihin din po natin yung mga bata to rephrase and paraphrase kasi uh, meron po tayong mga rules about copyright na kailangan matutunan din po ng mga bata uh, with research. Okay? With augmentation, um, we have bookmark and uh, share notes using the share button. Okay? Bookmarking material using your um, different um, to, mga search engines. Okay? Uh, modification, uh, download and annotate with notability. Okay, so similar with this particular application. Okay, annotate meaning pwede pong mag-highlight, pwede pong mag-sulat doon sa ating PDF file. That's annotation. And uh, redefinition is collaborative mind maps using research. Okay, so that's how you redefine research with some R model. Okay, ano pa po? Sa presentation naman po, okay, pwede tayong gumamit ng keynote for iOS applications. Uh, meron naman po tayong... Um, PowerPoint for Microsoft. Okay? So that's substitution. Hindi na po tayo gumagamit ngayon ng uh, Manila paper. <laughs> so hindi na po masyado uso yung Manila paper na idinidikit sa bulletin, uh, sa ating mga uh, blackboard and so on. PowerPoint na po tayo lahat. Kasi meron na muna po tayong mga TV na pwede pong isaksak yung ating mga laptops okay, or kaya computers okay, to present our presentation tools. Okay? Augmentation naman po. Demonstrate an understanding with uh, and explaining everything. With modification, we can combine audio and video in the uh, presentation or even short clips. And uh, for your definition, Nearpod presentation. So Nearpod is an application also. Okay? For file sharing, marami na po tayong um, actually mga um, softwares or kaya websites na pwede tayong mag-share ng mga files such as for Google Drive, di ba po? So um, sa amin po, sa senior high school in St. Mary's University, um, uh, ang ginagawa po kasi namin since we are also giving students our blended learning, 
okay? Gumagawa po kami ng sarili namin mga videos about our lessons. So yung mga lesson video po namin and yung mga activity sheets po namin, sinisave po namin siya sa isang Google Drive. So kanya-kanya po kami ng Google Drive and each of the teacher will have its own group chat. And doon po namin nilalagay yung aming mga link for our learning materials. Okay, ang tawag po namin sa mga learning materials namin doon ay learning packets. So yung learning packets na po yun, nandun po yung mga videos namin, activity sheets namin, mga rubrics namin, yung aming curriculum map, and so on. Nandun po lahat. Ina-access na lang po ng mga bata. And then, pag nagsasamit mo po yung mga bata sa amin, since we also have our own uh, learning management system, so doon na po nagsasamit online yung mga bata sa aming school. So yun po. So that's how we do file sharing in our school. So, ewan ko po kung ganun din po yung um, inyong ginagawa sa inyong mga schools. Okay? So, substitution, pwedeng send yung ating lesson in email uh, for augmentation sa Dropbox, sa modification using Showbe, and for definition, iTunes U. Okay? Uh, sa reading, ayan po, pwedeng PDF, dictionary for augmentation, um, modification annotation. Okay? And then, for redefinition, interactive iBook. Okay, so meron na po tayong mga interactive e-books actually rin po eh online. Okay, na pwede natin gamitin with reading. For assessment, okay, ito na po yung gusto nating gawin with gamified assessment. Redefining learning using gamified assessment. So, in substitution, ang ginagawa po natin, gumagawa, gumagamit po tayo ng Google Forms for our assessment. Okay, ayan. So, Google Form for test. For augmentation, uh, we can use Google Form test with automatic marking script. So, meaning po, si Google Form na ang mag-check ng ating mga quiz. Okay, this is only true for um, objective type of quizzes po. Pero dun sa mga essay, ganun, kailangan po natin lang maglalagay ng mga points dun. For modification, uh, creative projects with strip designers using Show Me and iMovie. Okay, so pwede po nilang i-video yung sarili nila to perform that particular assessment. And for redefinition, creative assignment with uh, audio feedback and show B. Or kaya pwede rin pong gamified assessment for redefining our task. Okay, so these are examples of um, yung game thinking natin with some R model. Okay, so other examples, uh, substitution, um, e-book is in place of print books or online materials in place of worksheets. Okay? So, replacement po lang po pag substitution. For augmentation, technology not only replaces a traditional tool but adds functionality. Okay? So, sa, for example po, nagpapahan na po kayo ng mga countries, lalo na sa social uh, science subject. For example, saan ba banda ang, ano, ang UAE or Saudi Arabia? So, on. So, pwede na po silang gumamit ng Google or okay, Google Earth to explore the settings of the story rather than a map. Okay, so that's augmentation. Okay, para makita rin po nila yung, um, for example, yung mga um, uh, infrastructure na meron dun sa bansang yun, ganun, or kaya yung mga uh, kung, uh, ang nito, sandy ba yung area na yun, or maraming puno, and so on. So mas madali pong maintindihan ng mga bata yung um, geography ng ating um, please, kung gagamit po sila ng kanilang Google Earth okay, or Google Maps. Okay? Next, for modification using or allowing technology for significant change. So, using screencast to explain a process. So, yun po. Uh, screencast po, ginagamit po namin sa pagre-record po ng aming video para, kunwari, nandito po kami sa baba ng screen and then yung presentation nandyan lang po siya na nagsasalita na kami. So, that's an example of modification. Okay? For teachers. And for redefinition po, this allows the creation of completely new ways of learning that were previously not possible. So using virtual meeting tools such as your Google Hangouts and um, other uh, applications, for example, yung Zoom, pwede rin pong, um, Google uh, Meet or kaya Google Classroom. That's an example of redefinition of technology. Okay, so that is some R model. Okay, so um, here are the things that we need to know according to Dave Eng, Dr. Dave Eng, for gamified assessment. Okay, so uh, similar with our curriculum, okay, with games or kaya gamified assessment, we should have goals. Okay, 
So ano pa yung goal natin? Kailangan may iset po muna natin kung bakit natin gagawin yung gamified assessment. Hindi naman po yung agad-agad na magbibigay tayo ng games kasi gusto lang natin. Hindi po ganun yun. Okay? Kailangan iset po muna natin yung goal natin para may purpose po yung gagawin nating activity. Okay? So classes have outcomes and learning outcomes are way to, uh, for faculty educators and instructional designer to form and shape how a class will be structured. Okay? So dapat po, since we are uh, creating our own lesson plan, naka-integrate na po doon yung gagawin nating gamified assessment para hindi po magugulo yung flow ng inyong discussion. Okay? So it should have goal and outcome. Okay, next, uh, game-based learning uses existing games okay, to help students achieve learning outcomes. Okay, Games are great for engaging students because they provide them with opportunities to put their learned content into practice. Okay, Kasi nga po, um, yun naman yung goal po natin with our assessment. Yung sinatawag natin learning by doing. Okay, Kaya nga po, dun sa Bloom's Taxonomy natin, ang pinakahuli is creating, di ba? So, yun po yung um, dapat yung ating mga estudyante ay makagawa or ma, ma i apply nila lahat ng mga learnings na natutunan na nila with our lessons. Okay? Yung mga skill po na nabigay po natin sa kanila ay ma-apply po nila. Okay? So, yan. Achieve their learning outcomes. Okay? So, next. Um, game goals and learning outcomes can find common ground by combining... Okay? By combining their focus, okay? So learning outcomes include students, products, artifacts, and performances. Whereas games focus on the activities that help players gain points, items, levels, and experience. So kinocombine po natin yung dalawang yun. And with that, okay, um, with gamified assessment, it would have a meaningful student engagement. It will structure um, our learning activities. And with assessment, uh, it allows us to have the different learning outcomes. Okay. Okay. So, sabi ko nga po kanina, and ang ating gamified assessment ay nakabase din po sa ating Bloom's Taxonomy, okay, which is your cognitive learning. So, game structures can inform how learning outcomes are written and even structured. Different game elements can support experiential learning by applying these different levels of cognitive skills, specifically. So let's see, start po tayo with remembering. So similar po to with the elements of the game as I said a while ago. So in remembering, this prescribes the functional rules of the game. Okay? So ano po yung kailangan sundin ng mga bata? Dapat yung rules po natin should be set before providing the game itself. Okay? So kailangan nakalayout na po yung objective natin with the game and then ano po yung kailangan nilang sundin? Rules of the game. Okay? Understanding. Identify how those rules affect their play. Okay? Kasi, magkakaroon na na ng uh, different strategies eh, yung mga bata natin. It may be individual or group. Okay? So, kailangan natin i-identify kung papaano sila maglalaro using that. Kasi, hindi po natin may iwasan later on pag nagpalaro tayo, magkakaroon niya ng kachawan, ganun. Or kaya minsan magkakaroon ng initan kasi si ano, nandadaya, ganyan, ganyan, and so on. So, kailangan may iset din po natin yung rules na this is just a game Okay? At wag po kayo masyadong magiging um, parang masyadong competitive na ganito, nag aaway away na kayo and so on. So, uh, we should lay that out um, with pres uh, while presenting the rules of our game. Okay? Applying, demonstrating how the player can strategize using the game rules. Okay? Strategic activity na po ng mga bata yan. And with analyzing, discussing how the player can optimize their own strategy. Okay? Evaluating, compla uh, comparing the player's strategy to their past performance and competitors. Kaya po, um, sana po, pag nagbigay po kayo later on ng mga gamified assessment, maganda po na parang um, every week meron po kayong mga uh, assessment na ganito para maintindihan nyo po talaga yung kanilang mga ayun, strategy, yung kanilang mga performance, kung talagang... Um, Natututo po ba sila sa lahat ng mga discussions nyo and so on. So yun, evaluating. And for creating naman, determining how the player can make decisions based on their created knowledge. Okay? Kasi yun din naman po yung goal natin. Okay? Magkaroon sila ng own decisions in life. Okay? And then yung mga activity din po sana natin are um, situational din po sana yung mga assessment material natin. 
kasi uh, later on syempre kapag they go out of the or they go to the real world okay meron po silang mga idea on how they will cope up with that particular um, um activity or problems later on okay so yeah so um game based assessment or gamified assessment is also based from bloom's taxonomy okay so here are some tips on game based assessment okay so this is according to e learning industry so games when included in assessment help the learner move away from taking an objective stance and urge him to apply his skills and knowledge so number one tip that we need to consider as teachers is to have a clear idea of what makes the game-based assessment successful. So nasabi ko na po yung kanina na dapat ma-layout po muna natin yung ating mga objectives and learning outcomes. Okay? So this is the most important aspect of developing your game-based assessment. And aside from that, we should also present the criteria. Ito po, yung criteria po natin. Okay? To measure the efficacy of your assessment. Okay, so that's the first tip that we need to consider. The second tip is to align our assessment with the learning objectives. Okay, naka-adhere po dapat tayo lagi sa ating competencies or yung ating MELTs or most essential learning competencies for the basic education teachers. So we need to remember that the primary objective of game-based assessment is to determine the learning objectives of our uh, activity. So dapat, yung ating assessment is in line with our learning and teaching activities at naka, uh, in line din po siya with our learning outcomes. So, itong tatlong to po ay kailangan align po lahat. Okay? So, yung tinatawag nating alignment. Okay? Actually, um, and this is also a struggle for us <laughs> sa amin po. Experience po din pa namin dito kasi uh, sa senior high school. Uh, medyo nahihirapan po kami sa paggawa ng mga uh, med yung mga rubric po ng isang activity kasi nga dapat naka-adhere po dapat lagi siya sa ating mga competencies okay yung mga criteria po natin um, kasi um, bakit tayo nagpapagawa ng activity na yan kung hindi naman po siya naka-adhere doon sa competency na yon so parang nagiging useless siya kapag hindi po talaga na-set yung criteria na yon so dapat align po lahat yan Okay, so tama po yun, di ba mga teachers? <laughs> Alignment is, um, ano to? good morning po, pwede request yung presentation po. Uh, okay po, yes, Sir JM, I will be sharing this later on. Okay, so yun po, dapat align po lahat yung ating learning outcomes, assessment, and teaching and learning activities. And criteria po, yung ating criteria should also be aligned with your competencies. Okay, number three po, um, see that games in your assessments have a solid plot. Okay, so dapat um, magkaroon tayo ng good stories. <laughs> so sabi ko nga kanina, um, dapat yung gagawin po natin mga assessment tool, uh, situational po siya na ma-apply po nila later on kapag they really go out to the real world. Okay, so game-based assessment can be very effective when they are framed with a context, contextualized po siya. Okay, next. Um, Number four po, um, you have to make sure that you have a friendly competition among learners. Okay? Ayan, nasabi ko rin po yan kanina na dapat. Iset po natin yung rules na this is just a game. Okay? Hindi nyo kailangan mag-compete masyado. Okay? So, para hindi maiwasan po natin yung pag-aaway ng mga estudyante later on. Okay? So, we all know that elements of competition plays a vital role in motivating our learners. And, um, uh, the learners who have the highest number of points in the game-based assessment will be in the game. Okay? So, yun. Um, dun sa mga applications po na gagamitin natin later on, um, meron po kasi sila, uh, sa pointing system po kasi, kanya-kanya po yan sa tatlong applications. Okay? Meron po sila kanya-kanyang feature po kasi. And, um, ang strategy din po para mataas din po yung points na makuha nyo with game-based applications na ipapresent ko po sa inyo mamaya is kailangan mabilis kang sumagot. <laughs> Kasi kapag uh, mabilis kang sumagot, mas mataas yung points na makukuha mo. Okay? So, dapat yung pagkabasa pa lang ng estudyante, meron na siya idea kung ano yung magiging sagot niya. Okay? So, yun po. So, just create a friendly atmosphere or friendly competition for that assessment. Okay? Number five po, um, allow your learners to have rewards. Okay? Ayan, lalong-lalo na sa mga elementary students, di ba? 
kapag meron niya nakaset na reward is talagang magiging engaged yung mga bata. Yung gusto nilang manalo kasi gusto kong makuha yung reward, di ba? So actually, ginawa ko rin po sa, ating, sa aking class ito last time with my ICT students. Um, I'm teaching empowerment technologies po kasi. Sabi ko sa kanila, ah, kung sino man mananalo dito sa game natin, um, magkakaroon siya ng premyo. So ang premyo ko was Gcash. Nagpa-Gcash po ako ng load. So yung nanalo po dun sa game namin, nagkaroon sila ng um, 50 pesos na load. Yung nag-top one po dun sa game. So yun, give them rewards para mas ma-engage po yung mga bata na gustong sumali. Okay? Ayan. So while it is true that the element of competition and desire to win the game motivate your learners, okay, with game-based assessment, okay, Um, allowing the uh, learners to have tangible benefits can make the game-based evaluation very rewarding. Okay, yun naman yung kinukuha natin, di ba? Yung reward na makukuha natin with the game. Okay, so that's number five. Tip number five. Um, allow your learners to have rewards. Okay, so yun po. Okay, tuloy po natin. So, um, gamification. Okay, how to take it to the next level in 2020. Okay, so 2020 was the year uh, where the pandemic started. Okay, and uh, many of us teachers were really struggling on how we can uh, deliver our lessons to our students, di ba po? And yung mga students din po, um, nag-struggle din po sila kasi nga, um, ang ginawa po natin mga teachers is providing them modules. Okay, and um, <laughs> syempre, yung mga bata po, without um, giving them input, minsan, di ba, nahihirapan po talaga yung mga bata to learn what they need to learn using that module. Okay, so hindi ko naman po sinasabi na <laughs> yung module natin ay um, hindi po sila natututo using that. Pero syempre, yung shift po kasi na agad-agad po na magiging modular yung mga bata, struggle po talaga yon di ba? experience po natin lahat yan. At um, thankful din po kami sa school namin kasi ang naging way din po namin to really cope up is through video lessons. Okay, na kahit hindi po namin namimit yung mga bata, at least yun sa video lesson po namin, ay napapanood po nila yung discussion namin kahit pa ulit-ulit siya para makuha lang po yung concept na kailangan nilang makuha. Okay, and with uh, gamified assessment din po, okay, Um, yun po yung gusto nating makater din, di ba? Yung mga estudyante yung nag-struggle sa pagkatuto. Okay, ayan. So, with gamification, okay, ito po yung mga goals niya. User engagement, reward, achievement, motivation, learning, and challenge. Okay, so, isa-isahin po natin yan. Okay, so here are the elements of successful gamification. So, meron mo tayong tinatawag dito na badges. So, badges is similar with rewards, okay? Pero dito po sa badges, um, uh, ginagamit din po siya sa mga learning management system. For example, yung perfect attendance, ganun-ganun, or yung uh, most active, mga ganun-ganun. So those are badges na pwede pong makuha ng mga bata using our gamified assessments. Okay? So badges are common elements of gamification and they can earn their badges kapag um, uh, they provide more time and effort to put in the game. Okay? This is for the students. For points naman po, uh, nasabi ko na ito kanina na the more, uh, the faster they answer, the more points they get, okay, with the assessment tool that we will be using. For rewards naman po, offering real tangible rewards for playing the game in an excellent attention grabber, okay? So, rewards, na iset din po natin yung kanina na um, ibigyan, ibigyan natin ng reward yung mga mananalo sa games natin. Levels, okay? So, um, With our assessment, pwede nyo rin po siyang bigyan ng level. For example, for the first five items, nasa easy siya. Second five items, nasa moderate siya. And the third uh, five items would be for the difficult. Um, actually, I also use uh, these tools um, in our quiz B competition in our school. And maganda po yung naging result, actually, nung ginamit po namin siya for quiz B competition. Okay? Kasi natutuwa yung mga bata habang nagko-compete sila. Okay? And then ginamit po namin siya for group um, quiz B. So, yun. Ayan. And then uh, for levels, sabi ko na, for leaderboards, um, makikita po natin to later on kapag um, sumugot yung mga bata kung sino yung nag-number one, nag-number two, and so on. Yung kanilang standing can be seen on the uh, applications. 
okay, spin to uh, spin to wheel. Okay, so pwede po din tayong gumamit ng mga wheels, okay, for our gamification. So dito po, um, uh, pwede po kayong magtawag, for example, na gustong sumagot. <laughs> kasi pwede po kasi yung dun sa ating mga uh, assessment to later on na ang pacing po is teacher pace. So ibig sabihin po, um, uh, kayo po yung nag... Uh, nagsaset kung kailan matatapos yung isang question okay bago mag-proceed sa pangalawa pero yung student pacing naman po uh, nakadepende po yan sa student on how fast they can answer so makikita po nyo yun mamaya kapag na-try po natin siya with quizzes sa quizzes po kasi yun okay a uh, challenge okay may mga challenges po na pwede rin silang gawin sa quizzes po meron din po yan onboarding and continuous engagement which is our goal with assessment Okay, ayan. So, so ano pa po yung meron sa ating gamification? So, points, progress, yung leaderboard po natin, mystery box. Okay, may mga power-ups din po kasi na pwedeng gamit yung mga bata later on. Social discovery, time-dependent rewards, okay, XP points, social status, and social pressure. Okay, okay mechanics, meron tayong scores, ranks, and levels. The different badges and trophies. Um, ano pa po? Um, team or individual task na meron po tayo. Okay. Um, we have unlocking the different activities. Okay. Okay. Uh, visualize dashboard na makikita po ng mga bata kapag sumasagot po sila. Okay. So, yan. Uh, avatars. May kanya-kanya pong avatar yan. Notifications, leaderboards, and first currency. Okay, so ano pa? Dynamics, achievement, competition, challenge, progress, collaboration with the students, surprise, and collection. Kasi uh, pwede rin pong team activity yung mga uh, tools po na gagamitin natin later on. Pwede po siya. Okay? Ayan. Ayan. So yun lang. <laughs> okay yung ating discussion. So um, for our quote of the day, so this ends my presentation for the concepts and theories of gamified assessment. Okay, so it says here, tell me and I'll forget, show me and I may remember, involve me and I learn. So this is according to Benjamin Franklin. Okay, so yun nga po, kapag mas nagiging involve yung mga bata, mas nag, uh, matututo po sila. Okay, yun nga po ang uh, goal natin with gamified assessment. And games and gamification can lead to high levels of learner engagement and motivation. So this is according to Carl Kapp. Okay, so that ends my presentation for this morning. Okay, po. Hello, po. <laughs> so, my question, po, kayo. Question po or clarification, mga ma'am, sir, about gamified assessment. Um, according to, ay, sino po si Oppo F11 Pro? <laughs> Hindi po kasi nakapangalan. Uh, sir, may we have a sample of qualified apps, hihi, TY and God bless sir. Uh, yes, sir, I will be presenting it um, after the break yung ating three applications. So, makikita nyo po yan mamaya. Okay po? Um, next po, um, according to Sir po ba to? Salome C. Cruz, how could we use gamification to slow learners? Okay. So, yan po. Sabi ko nga po kanina na pwede po nating ma-analyze yung ating mga estudyante. So, um, through this assessment, okay, um, every week, di ba po, sabi ko nga sa inyo, pwede nyo po siyang ibigay weekly basis to analyze kung sino po yung medyo nag struggle And then sa siguro sa next na week, pwede nyo pong iset na sila lang po muna. Okay? Para ma makita nyo po talaga kung saan po talaga nag struggle yung mga bata. Pwede po yun. Iset nyo po na sila lang po muna yung magkakaroon ng ganitong assessment. Okay? So yun po. For slow learners. Okay. Sir, pwede po humingi ng PPT. Yes po. Magbibigay po ka later on. Okay? May certain subject po ba to apply gamified assessment? Across all subject po yan. Now, um, this will, um, uh, this will um, 
tawag na ito, hindi ko makuha yung word. <laughs> Nakadepende na po sa ingenuity po ng isang teacher. Okay? Sa lahat po ng subject, pwede po itong gamified assessment. Nakadepende po sa inyo to. Okay? So, um, how you will be creative on how you we can, can you can create your assessment later on. Okay? Um, can we access both online and offline? Um, yun nga po. Kaya po tinanong ko kanina uh, kung nagtuturo po kayo ng blended learning. Uh, this is for synchronous session. Meaning po, dapat po naka-online yung mga bata. Okay? Pag nagpapa-assessment po tayo. So, hindi po siya pwede for offline. Yun lang po yung ano yung downfall po nung ating um, um, gamified assessment tool apps. Okay? So, next po. Sir, ano po magandang mga gamified pang ESP? Ah, wait. Cristobal. Sir Cristobal, ano po yung ESP? Hindi po kasi ako familiar with the word ESP. Pasensya na po. Paki-define na lang po. Magandang gamified. Edukasyon sa pagpapakatao, sir. Ah, okay. Yes, sir. Pwede rin po siya. Um, ano bang pwede? Sa quizzes later on, sir, kasi meron po siyang uh, isang application na pwede kayong gumawa ng isang parang module na meron siyang game after. So, for example, sa first slide nyo po, nandun po yung mga concepts na dinidiscuss nyo. And then after that concept, sa next slide, pwede nyo na pong bigyan sila ng assessment kung ano ba yung uh, natutunan nila with that particular discussion. So, meron po yun sa quizzes, mamaya ipapresent ko po yan para makita nyo po. Okay? Um, next po, uh, pwede din po ba i-cater mga learners na walang access to the internet? If so, how po? Uh, yun nga po ang problema, ma'am. For synchronous session po siya. Hindi po for asynchronous. Um, yun po yung downfall lang po kasi yung ating mga applications is online po. Online po siya. Opo. So, next po. Uh, this is according to Ma'am Helen. I already tried Quizzes and Kahoot at nag enjoy mga bata. Tama po. Yes. Yan. May mga kasama na po ako nagtuturo nito. Ma'am Helen Rubidilio. So, Ma'am ano, Ma Helen, baka gusto niyo rin po i-testing mamaya yung game kit. Maganda rin po yung game kit. Sir, how do you address cheating on online assessment or in the gaming assessment? Ah, cheating. Hmm. Uh, actually, this is something na wala na po tayong masyadong magagawa. <laughs> Kasi experience din po namin yan at hindi po namin talaga siya ma-addressan. Ma Though, meron po kaming POD or Prefect of Discipline na sila po yung nagkikater sa ganitong mga cases. So kung meron po kayong POD sana sa mga schools niyo, pwede niyo po siyang i Uh, ilapit sa kanila para sila na po yung bahalang on how they can uh, address that particular issue. With gamified assessment, sabi ko nga po sa inyo, um, this is only true for an activity or pre-assessment or post-assessment. For summative assessment po, um, hindi ko po siya masyadong parang ginagamit masyadong formal yung yung dating eh. So, kung samatig po yung gagawin nyo, uh, mas maganda po na gumamit na lang po kayo ng Google Forms or yung mga learning management system. Pero for gamified assessment, pwede siya for activities and pre or post uh, assessments. Okay po? Um, education sa Akaisa. Can it be used as an innovation to get points for promotion? Hmm. For promotion purposes. Uh, ano pong ibig niya sabihin dito, ma'am? Ay, Sir Lucelito, ano pong ibig niyo pong sabihin? For promotion po as teacher, ganun po ba? Or sa student po? Uh, Pakidefine na lang po. Okay? Uh, this is according to Ma'am Jenny. Sa totoo po, naboboring po ang mga bata kung magbabasa at nag-answer lang ng module. Pag sinasamahan po ng game, nacha-challenge po at nag-e-enjoy po maganda pong app na to. Yes po. Opo. Yan. Mag-e-enjoy din po kayo mamaya sa assessment natin. Kasi uh, uh, para malaman nyo po talaga kung paano siya ginagamit, maglalaro din po tayo. Okay? Um, this is according to Sir Matthew. How will you ensure that the students participate in the activity for the sake of learning? And not just because of the reward afterwards. Example, monetary incentive. Ah, so ayun nga po. Nasabi ko naman na po sa inyo kanina na you should place the rules. Okay? Kailangan meron po tayong rules and outcomes. Okay? Para um, kung gusto nyo po talaga na 
mag-participate yung mga bata, okay? Hikayatin niyo po sila talaga na to join this particular assessment, okay? So hindi naman po necessary na uh, magbibigay po kayo every time ng reward, okay? Uh, may mga times lang po siguro na pwede niyo siyang lagyan ng reward, okay? So ganun po siya, Sir Matthew. Um, this is according to Sir Absidi. Under Kahoot, may mode siya na pwedeng pasagutan mga students as assignment yung questions. They can answer on time para sa mga hirap sa internet. Pero need pa rin ng internet. Yes, sir. Opo. Tama po yan. Internet po kasi talaga yan. Teacher can monitor the scores pa rin naman po. Tama po. Okay po yan, sir. Absid. Uh, kung free ang account ng gamified apps, limited lang magagawang klase ng assessment. Opo. Since we will be using your free accounts, um, gagamitin po natin yung ating mga... Gmail accounts po sa pagla-login sa ating mga applications. So if you have your mobile phones, um, pwede nyo po siyang i-download sa uh, mga App Store. <laughs> meron po siya. Yung Kahoot at Quizzes po, meron po siya sa App Store. Pero yung GimKit po kasi website lang po siya. Eh. Wala pa po silang apps. Opo. So dun sa mga meron na po mga cellphone dyan, uh, at para sa part po ng ating Uh, paggawa ng assessment later on, pa-download na po sana sa ating mga smartphones. Okay po? Ayan. So, yun po yung kanilang mga questions. Okay? May question pa po tayo, mga ma'am, sir. Sana po nasagot ko yung mga tanong natin. Okay? Before we proceed to the break for 10 minutes. Sir, ano pong app na download? Paki-PM na lang po. Medyo choppy po. Ah, okay po. Sige po. I'll be PMing the apps na lang po. So, we have Kahoot. Ah, please. Please, please. Okay. Um, everyone. Okay po. Ma'am Rika, okay na po ako. Okay po. Thank you, sir. Ayan po. So, we'll be having po a short break. Uh, we'll be having a 10-minute break po. So, uh, we'll continue later po at 10.10. And announcement lang po sa ating mga uh, viewers as well. Um, sa ibang participants po, they weren't able po to join in kasi we are full na po sa ating room. And so, you can join in po sa ating Facebook Live. Uh, we will be interacting po uh, sa ating FB page. Ayan, so we'll resume po exactly at 10.10. Thank you.
Yan, so I hope po na nakapag-take na po tayo ng ating break. So before we proceed po, uh, let us check po if nandito dito na po yung ating mga participants. So chat one sa ating chat box. Uh, just so we could go forward po sa ating next discussion. Okay, so thank you po sa lahat ng nagre-respond. Ayan, so take it away, Sir Jerick. Thank you po. Thank you, Ma'am Rita. Ayan, so I hope nakapag-break po tayo. <laughs> Kailangan din po ng break pa minsan-minsan. Okay. Ayan. Sige po. So, I will be proceeding now to the different presentation of the three apps. Okay. So, share ko lang po yung aking screen. Okay. So, as I said a while ago, we will be using three applications for this uh, particular session. So, meron po tayo dito yung Kahoot. Meron din po tayo ng... Uh, Wait lang po, i-present. Wait lang. Oh, okay. So, ito po yung <laughs> ating app. Hindi ko po kasi makita. Nakikita yung ano. Ayan. So, meron po tayo yung Kahoot. So, ang kanilang website is um, https kahoot.com. Okay. Meron din po tayo dito yung Quizies. Okay. So, ito po yung other app na gagamitin natin. And the last one is Kimkip. Okay. So, define lang po natin yung kanilang um, parang definition of that particular uh, application. So, this is the about page of uh, Kahoot. So, Kahoot is a global learning platform company that wants to empower everyone, including children, students, and employees to unlock their full learning potential. Okay. Um, based on my research, po, uh, several companies also use Kahoot um, in nito, assessing their future employees. Okay? So, nakakaroon po sila ng parang uh, assessment um, gamit, gamit lang po yung mga apps na to. So, hindi po siya puro written, pero gamit din po ang Kahoot, they do it. Okay? Uh, our learning platform makes it easier for any individual or corporation to create share and play learning games that drive compelling engagement. Kahoot games can be played anywhere in person or virtually using the device with internet connection. So ito po yung sinasabi ko kanina. In addition, our family of apps takes math learning to a new level by empowering children to learn to read through play. Learnings of all ages can, and can make language learning natural with immersive visuals and play through our Okay, drop-ups organization can connect and engage their work teams and so on. Okay, Kahoot offers uh, free and paid plans designed for classroom at work. Okay, so ang gagamitin po natin is the free plan po. <laughs> okay, kasi wala po tayong uh, paid na account. Okay, so ito po yung kanilang um, website. So uh, their mission is to make learning awesome. And uh, at Kahoot, we are about uh, we are all about lifelong learning. In life, we learn new skills through curiosity and play by combining two in a fun and social way. We can unlock the learning potential within all of us, no matter the subject, age, or ability. So, yeah. So, pwede rin po sa inyo mga teachers later on, okay? Pag magpapa, siguro po meeting, magpakahot po muna kayo bago kayo magkaroon ng meeting, pwede rin po yan. Okay? Or kaya sa family members nyo, uh, para magkaroon ng... Um, Quanting bonding, <laughs> okay, with the family members. For example po, who knows me better? Okay, pwede nyo pong gamitin yung Kahoot, okay, for family bonding, parang ganun. And through Kahoot, uh, it unleash uh, this potential with every learners, okay, and um, to make learning awesome. So that's Kahoot, okay? Sa so, nakabase po ata ang Kahoot in America. Sa America po nakabase ang Kahoot. For um, quizzes naman po, um, ito po yung quizzes so www.quizzes.com so um, this is made by Ankit and Deepak founded in 2015 okay um, in teaching remedial math at the school of Bangladesh, India so India po yung base ng ating um, quizzes so today quizzes supports about millions of students in over 100 countries 
and has offices in Bangalore and Santa Monica, California. Okay? And then yung GimKit naman po natin. So this is their website. So GimKit. Okay? Ito po siya. So pag nag-access po na ng GimKit, so answer, students answer question on their own device at their own pace. Um, okay. Uh, student pace naman po dito. So throughout the kit, each student will get exposure to the question multiple times to ensure mastery. Okay? And through GimKit, hindi po points yung binibigay nila, kundi dollars. <laughs> okay? Pero yung dollars po, hindi po siya nawi-withdraw. Doon lang po siya sa app. Okay? So you earn. Student earns in-game cash by answering the question correctly. But be careful, an incorrect answer will cost you. Okay? So namaminasan po sila pag nagkakamali po sila ng sagot. For the shop, Okay, so each of the answered question ay mag, uh, mapupunta po kayo sa shop. So dun sa shop po, meron po siyang mga makikita nyo dun mga power-ups or kaya mga features na pwede yung gamitin throughout the game. Okay, so stu student can reinvest their money by purchasing upgrades or power-ups. Okay, and with billions of combinations, students can make purchases to suit their strength. Okay, ang goal po natin dito is payamanan sa game kit. So dapat marami kang dollars okay, sa ating game kit application. Okay? So, homework, kit collab, and game on. Okay? So, yeah. So, start na po tayo with... Ay. Wait lang po. Wait lang. Okay. So, start na po tayo sa Kahoot. So sabi ko nga po kanina, ang gagamitin po nating app dito would be your Gmail account. So how do we log in? So kapag nasa app po kayo sa inyong mga mobile phone, phones, um, click nyo lang po yung login dyan. Or sa, uh, sa mga laptop po, ganun na naman po yung makikita nyo. And then... Um, Okay. So dito po, meron po tayo mga um, different uh, accounts na pwede nyo pong i-log in. Google, Microsoft, Apple, and Clever. Pero ang gagamitin po natin would be your Google accounts. So click lang po natin yung Google. And then mamili po tayo ng account. So this is my account. Ah, Okay. Naka-sign up po pala ako dito. So, this is my account pala na ilagay ko na. And then, yung password. Login. Okay. Yan po. So, kapag naka-login na po tayo, ito po yung makikita nating um, mga features sa ating Kahoot. Okay? So, this is your homepage. Okay. So kapag nagpakita po ito sa inyong homepage, hanapin nyo lang po yung continue to for free kasi free naman po yung gagamitin natin. Pero kung gusto nyo pong uh, magbayad at gamitin po yung premium account, ito po yung kanilang mga cost. So $5, $10, $15. And yung premium na hili is $15 po. Okay. Pero tayo ay free mo muna. Free po muna yung gagamitin natin. Ayan. So click free. Okay, so ito po. So once that uh, we are here on the dashboard of Kahoot, so ito po yung feature na meron tayo. Meron tayong home, meron po tayong discover, meron po tayo ditong library, meron po tayo ditong reports, and meron din po yung groups. Okay, so dito po sa home, click ko muna dito sa home para makita po natin. Okay. So makikita niyo po dito yung mga courses kung kayo pong gagawa ng courses niyo dito eh. Kung gusto niyo po na per class niyo later on, pwede rin po naman dito. And then um dito naman po sa right side, yung my kahoots po, ito po yung mga ginawa kong um questions. Okay? Okay. And then uh, ito yung mga latest report po natin. So uh, later on kapag nagpa-game na po kayo, lahat ng mga Uh, result ng games ay mapupunta mo dito sa ating reports. Okay? Ngayon, punta po tayo sa Discover. Dito po sa Discover, mga ma'am sir, um, since marami po ang gumaga, gumagamit nito, 
pwede po kayo mag-search ng mga questions na already available on the app itself. So for example, ako nagtuturo po ko ng ICT, pwede po ako mag-search ng ICT terms or ICT questions. So check po natin, search natin si ICT. Okay, so yan. So makikita nyo po, meron na po silang mga created ICT questions. Pero i-check nyo po kung meron po siya yung plus, ay yung plus, yung check sign po dyan, tapos para siyang yung may red na part. So ibig sabihin po niyan, uh, hindi po natin siya magagamit. So ang hahanapin po natin ay yung mga question po na wala pong check. So uh, wala dito sa ICT. Subukan po natin sa science. Science. Ah, Search na lang natin. Earth and life science. Earth and life science. Okay. So ito po. Earth and life and physical science. May 35 question. Um, ito 35. Hanap tayo yung konti lang po yung question. 45 question. Ito po. Ayan. Fall semester. Ito po. Earth and Life Science, Sir Joel 03, 98 players. So, na-play na po siya. So, pwede natin siya i-click. Pwede po natin i-search yung ginawang question ni Sir Joel. At pwede po natin tignan yung mga question. Okay, ayan. So, yung question na po. As to not say that the moon has similar smell with. Ito po yung mga question. At andyan na rin po yung answer. Ngayon, Sir, question po. Pwede po naman ba namin kopyahin yung ginawa ni Sir Joel say row 3. Opo, pwede nyo pong gawin yun. So, uh, ang gagawin nyo lang po, kung makikita nyo po yung tatlong line dito, i-click nyo lang po siya, tapos i-duplicate nyo lang po siya. So, ibig sabihin, kukopyahin nyo po yung ginawa ni Sir Joel. Pero pag plinayin nyo po siya, ang pangalan po na lalabas doon would be Sir Joel pa rin po. Okay? Kung baga, hiniram lang po natin siya um, para ma-play po natin doon sa ating mga estudyante. Okay? So, Ayun po. So this is how you can duplicate or copy a particular quiz in Kahoot. Okay. So ganun lang po siya kasimple. Sa discover lang po yun ha. Click nyo lang po yung discover. Tapos isearch nyo lang po dito. Tapos ang tandaan nyo po, hindi po dapat nakacheck yung quiz. Okay. So marami po tayong mga, ano, mga topics dito. So pwede siyang math, science, English, social studies, general knowledge, literature, history, and so on. Okay. So that's discover. Now, Punta po tayo dun sa library. Okay. So dito po sa library, this will be your repository of your quizzes that you created. So sa akin po, okay, so meron na po ako dito mga ginawa before. So eto, e-tech quiz B. Ito po yung quiz B na sinasabi ko last time. Okay. Um, animation kasi nagtuturo din po ako ng animation. Uh, marketing terms para po dun sa entrepreneurship and then empowerment technologies and so on. So, pre-test and so on. So, yan. So, ito po yung library. Andito po lahat ng mga questions na ginawa ko. And then, um, saan pa? Uh, for reports, dito nyo po makikita yung mga sagot sa bawat quiz. So, ayan po. Makikita nyo po yung date kung kailan po siya nag-live. Tapos, makikita nyo rin po dito yung mga um tawag nito result nung bawat estudyante ayan so ito marami po kasi hindi nakatapos ay wait lang saan ba yung may sagot hanapin ko lang po yung may sagot borrowing books from the web september 6 Ayan. So, andito po yung mga hindi nakatapos, tapos yung mga nakatapos. So, ito, number of players. We have 11 players na naglaro po dun sa aking game. So, ito po yung mga names nila. Okay. Tapos, ito yung final score po nila, yung mga points nila. So, dito, makikita nyo na po yung rank at kung ilan yung na correct answer nila for that particular um, quiz. Okay. So, reports lang po. Doon lang po kayo pupunta. Okay. Ayan. So, ngayon, Pupunta na po tayo sa library para makagawa po tayo ng sarili nating question. So, gagawin nyo lang po, punta lang po kayo dito sa uh, part na to, yung click lang po natin yung create. Okay.
Ayan. So, meron po tayo ditong options. Okay? So, since naka-free version po tayo, ang gagamitin po natin is yung pwede po kayong gumamit ng templates. Okay? So, ito po. Pwede po ito. Kahoot Performative Assessment. Pwede rin po yung um, Blind Kahoot. And template inspired by higher ed instructors. Ito pong pang-college po ito. Pwede nyo pong gamitin yan. Pero since kagawa po tayo ng sarili natin, click lang po natin yung create. Okay. So ito po sa create natin, ito po yung lalabas na uh, interface. Okay. So this is your first question. Okay. Tapos dito po sa right side, makikita po natin yung question type. Now, sa question type po, meron po tayong mga options dito na ibibigay. Pero, since we are using the e version, we only have two options. It's either multiple choice or true or false. So, yun lang po siya. Nakalimit lang po tayo dun sa dalawang option na yun. Kung gusto nyo po ng ibang option, naka-premium na po kasi ito. Yung mga yan. Yung mga type answer, puzzle, poll, word count, open-ended, and so on. So, yan. So, ito lang po muna yung gagamitin natin. So, quiz. And then, aside from that, meron din po pala tayo ditong theme. Kung gusto nyo pong mamili ng theme, may mga free po tayo dito. Since malapit ng Christmas, gamitin naman po natin yung winter. Ayan, gamit tayo ng winter theme. Okay? Now, yung first question po natin, pwede rin natin iset yung time limit. Okay? So, uh, I'll leave it as is. 20 seconds na lang po muna. Um, para mabigyan ng time yung mga bata na magbasa dun sa question bago sumagot. And then yung pointing system, it can be standard, okay? One point per question. Pwede rin siyang double points, okay? Give twice as many points for the correct answer or no point. Pwede rin po siyang walang point, okay? Kung gusto nyo lang po talaga na makita yung mga sabagot ng mga bata, okay? So since gagamit lang po tayo ng standard, uh, click lang po natin siya. And then... Answer option, um, leave it as is, single select po tayo. Okay? Now, kapag naiset na po natin dito sa part na to, we can now start typing our question. So, kung mapapansin nyo po, meron din po tayo dito mga option per subscript and superscript. Okay? Or mga math equations and symbol dialogue. So, hindi lang po siya nagagamit for... Um, for uh, subject na puro theories. Pwede rin po siya for math, physics... Okay, chemistry, yung may mga math siya, math items. So, pwede po siya. Gamit po kayo dito sa mga uh, options na to. Okay, may mga math equation editor din po ako. Since an, I am an ICT teacher, so um, ICT question po yung uh, gagawin ko. And um, i-check po natin yung haba ng question natin. Since we only have 20 seconds to answer, dapat kung gagawa po kayo ng question, medyo nakalimit po siya. Okay, yung madali pong mabasa tapos masasagutan agad. You only have 120 letters and symbols na mailalagay per question. Okay, may limit po tayo dyan. Okay, so question number one. Um, okay, so, um, lalagay ko ng isang question. Um, which of the following is an example of a blogging platform, for example. Okay, so that's my first question. Now, maglalagay po tayo dito ng answer. So, uh, kunyari, um, Facebook. This is uh, Instagram. Dito po ay uh, siguro Twitter na lang to. At yung isa ay WordPress. So, ang tamang sagot po natin is WordPress. So, this is an example of a blogging platform. Now, um, dito po sa question natin, pwede rin po tayo mag-integrate ng pictures. Okay? So, ICT concept siya. So, maglalagay po ako ng isang picture. So, pwede po kayo mag-search dito. For example, um, blog. Okay. Yan. So, clinic ko po siya para makapag-add po ako ng isang picture. Okay? Para naman po, uh, para may idea sila about the question. So, which of the following is an example of a blogging platform? So, pwede po yan. Now, um, sir, pwede rin po ba na ang choices namin ay question? Ay, 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 ang choices namin ay pictures. 
pwede rin po yun. Okay? So, subukan natin. Maglagay po tayo ng other question. So, next question tayo. Um, quiz. Okay. So, uh, the question would be, um, which of the following is a, is an example of a social network? Okay. So, ito po yung aking question. Tapos, ang choices po nila would be pictures. Okay. So, maglalagay po ako ng photo. Nag-download po kasi ako ng picture eh. Um, saan ba yun? Upload image. Mag-upload po ako ng picture. So, this can be used uh, especially if you will be, uh, uh, if you are a teacher in, ano, in the elementary. Di ba visual learners din po kasi yung mga bata? So, maganda rin po na maglagay tayo ng mga items na may mga picture siya. So, ito, Facebook. Ang uh, lalagay din po ako ng uh, Twitter. Okay, another is um, YouTube. And the last one would be Instagram. Okay, so yun po yung question natin. Which of the following is an example of a social network? Tapos maglalagay tayo ng um, social net, social media na picture. Ah, okay, naka-pro po siya. So kapag naka-star po, naka-pro yan. So hindi po natin siya magagamit. Mag-upload na lang po ka ng picture. So ito na lang. Okay, so ito na po yung ating first question. And then meron siyang second question. So, um, kung mapapansin niyo po, meron po siya ditong save to my drafts. So, ang kagandahan po nitong mga application natin, this is an example of a cloud computing application. It means that anything that you place will be automatically saved using the app. Okay. Okay, nag-save na po siya sa draft. Hindi wala na po akong pinipindot. Automatic na po siyang nagse-save. Tapos yung file niyo ay naka-save po doon sa account niyo. So kahit mag uh, off kayo ng ay kunyari uh, biglang nag ano uh, wala yung internet connection niyo or biglang nag brown out. Okay, nandiyan lang po siya sa inyong account. Okay, naka-save pa rin po 'yan. So hindi po siya mawawala. Okay? Ayan. Okay, so Ah, okay, so wala akong correct answer dito. The example social network, the answer is Facebook. Okay, so yeah. So this is my first question. Okay, this is my second question. And gawa pa tayo ng isang question. Okay. Ngayon, ang gagawin naman po natin, this is a true or false question. Dalawa lang. So number three, um, latest Android operating system system is android 11 okay so ang sagot po natin dito is true okay. so that's android 11 ang latest os po natin so yan so meron na po tayong tatlong question okay ganun lang po kadaling gumawa ng question dito sa ating quizzes okay uh, sabi po ni Sir Daryl Cruz, yes sir, uh, nag-auto-save po siya. Kung mapapansin niyo po dito, nagre-reload reload siya every time na may ine-edit ako, nag-auto-save po siya. Now, para ma-save po natin itong ginawa natin, since nakagawa na nga po tayo nito, okay, click lang po natin yung save. Okay, now, uh, lalagay po natin siya ng title. Um, gagawin ko po siya as pre-test. Uh, uh, pre-test in EPEC. Okay. Uh, pwede nyo po siyang lagyan ng instruction dyan sa baba. Since uh, title lang po yung kailangan ko, so continue lang po tayo. Okay. Ayan. Okay. Yay! Your Kahoot is ready to be played. So pwede na po siya. Naka-ready na po yan. Pwede natin siyang i-test. Pwede natin siyang i-play or pwede natin siyang i-share with others. Okay? Now, gusto ko po siyang i-test para makita ko po talaga kung gumagana siya yung ating Kahoot. Okay? So let's see. Test po natin. 
Ayan. So, ito po yung magpapakita kapag pinest mo natin siya. Okay? Ngayon, um, si Kahoot po, pag nakagawa po tayo ng isang quiz, siya po yung gagawa ng tinatawag nating game pin. Okay? So, ito po yung aking pre-test. So, gagamitin ko siya as player versus player. So, individual po ito. Pwede, pwede nyo rin po siyang by team. Okay? Since uh, classic po muna ako, click ko lang po yung classic. Tapos, ayan po. Ito na po yung game pin na kukunin ng mga bata para maka-join po sila sa ating game. So, ikakopy lang po natin yan. Copy link. Tapos, ipipaste lang po natin dito. Ay, okay, wait lang. Hindi po siya copy game pin. Ah, type ko na lang po. 429 Okay, 5420 Okay, and then enter. And then yung nickname po ng mga bata. So, ako, Larry. Okay, okay, go. Uh, so, yan. So, may participant po tayo. So, once na nakapasok na po lahat ng participant natin, eh, i-click nyo lang po yung start. Okay. So, yung question po ay manggagaling sa teacher at yung sagot po uh, na mamimili ay sa bata. Okay? So, ang makikita lang po ng mga bata later on ay ganito. Tingnan nyo po ng mabuti. So, which of the following is an example of a blogging platform? So, kayo po yung nagtatanong. Ito po yung mga pagsasagutan nila. Ngayon, ang pagbibilian lang po ng mga bata ay kulay. So, dapat makita po nila kung anong kulay yung sagot. So, ang sagot ko po ay WordPress. Okay. So, tama po ako. I have 617 points for that. Okay? Ngayon, kung nakasagot na po lahat, pwede na po kayo mag-click ng next. Ayan. Ito po yung scoreboard natin. Nangunguna po si Jerry. Okay. Next question. Yeah, which of the following is an example of a social network? Okay, ayan po yung mga picture. Okay, so mamaliin ko po ito. Ayan. So the correct answer is Facebook. Okay, so incorrect po. Makikita po ng bata, incorrect siya. Okay, may mga uh, sinasabi rin po si Kisat Kahotni na we believe in you para ano, mamotivate pa po yung bata na makasagot siya sa pangalawang. Ay pa, uh, next na question. Okay, and then last question tayo. The latest operating system in Android 11. So, this is true. Click po natin yung true. Ay, dito po pala. Okay. Ayan. And then, pag natapos na po siya, ito na po yung leaderboard natin. Since ako lang po yung naglaro, <laughs> so ako po yung number one dun sa game. Ayan. So, ganun lang po kasimple gumawa ng uh, quiz sa ating kahoot. Okay po. Nasundan po ba natin, mga ma'am, sir? Sir, paano mag-add ng choices sa multiple choice? Yun po. Um, balikan ko po siya. Balikan ko po si ma'am, si Sir Glenn. Okay po si Dad. Okay. Ito na po, nakasave na po siya sa aking library. So kung gusto po natin siyang i-edit, i-click ko lang po yung edit. And then, andito na po yung tatlong question na ginawa ko kanina. So sa ang tanong po ni Sir ano ni Sir Glenn kanina, paano daw po mag-add ng choices sa multiple choice? Um ito po siya Sir, mag-add lang po ng question tapos click niyo lang po yung quiz. So kapag quiz po yung pinili niya, automatic po siya ng multiple choice. Ganun lang po siya Sir. Apo. Okay? Another question, Sir, pwede po shuffle yung display questions? Ah hindi po ma'am kasi O ano po yung pagkakasunod po nitong question dito, ma'am? Yun po yung pagkakasunod din po yung pagkakaplay ng mga bata. Opo. So, ganun po siya. Okay? Sige. So, ganun po yung paggawa. Kung gusto nyo pong mag-delete po ng question, nandito lang po sa left side. Then, click nyo lang po yung delete. Then, click delete. Okay. So, yun po ha. So, ganun lang po gumawa ng isang quiz sa isa kahoot po natin. Then, click save. Okay? Keep changes. Okay. Now, um, para mas maintindihan po natin kung paano yung game, so subukan po natin yung sagutan ito, mga ma'am sir. Join po tayo sa aking game. Ready po ba tayo? 
para makita nyo lang po kung paano po yung experience ng mga bata. Okay, ready po kayo? <laughs> Sir, dapat po ba sabay-sabay mag-take ng test sa mga bata or pwede sa time na available sila? Um, Sir Jeffrey, kailangan nyo po iset yung time. Dapat sabay-sabay po sila. So, kayo pong bahala sa oras. Opo. Okay, so let's see ha. Uh, let's play po yung aking game. So, this is about empowerment technology. So, I have here 10 questions and you only have 20 seconds to answer each of the question. Okay? Pataasan po tayo ng score ha. Uh, para dun po sa mga nakajoin po sa live, pwede rin po kayong mag-join. Okay? Sige po. Okay, so I will be starting the game. I will play this. Um, just continue. Click nyo lang po yung continue. Um, teach. Okay, so teach tayo. Okay, wait lang po ha. I will be clicking the classic. Okay, so ito po yung game pin natin. So para po dun sa mga gumagamit ng cellphone, pwede na, pong, pwede na po kayo mag-join. Ito po yung ating game pin. Para naman po dun sa ating mga um, sa, uh, sa mga computers po ang ginagamit, punta lang po kayo sa, kayo sa kahoot.it. Ulitin ko po ha, kahoot.it po kayo pupunta. Kahoot.it Ito po. Para makapasok po kayo sa game natin. So, meron na po tayong 15 participants. Okay, ayan. Damadami na sila. Wow, ang bilis. <laughs> Excited sila. Okay po. Sige. Okay, I have 28 participants. I'll wait until 10.45. Para maka-join po tayo lahat. Ayan. Wow. Daming participants. Nice. Ulitin ko po ha, yung question ay manggagaling po sa akin. So, dapat basahin niyo po muna yung question bago po kayo sumagot. Or basahin ko na lang din para makita nyo po yung choices. Okay, 47, 48, 50. Wow, dami na. Okay, sige po. Okay, last two minutes po to join. Diplomat Bison 6. Wow, sino po yan? <laughs> Okay, sige po. Pasok lang po tayo. 61 na po ang ating participants. Namin na. Okay, last two minutes po before we start. May question po ata. Sir, may maximum number of participants pag naka-free account. Um, so far, Sir Absidi, wala pa naman po ako na experience na parang maximum. May nag-play na po ng 100 plus, eh okay naman po. <laughs> May pa GCash din po, sabi ni Sir Lindon. <laughs> Unfortunately, wala po akong ano, sa GCash. <laughs> Next time, Sir Lindon. Okay po. Ayan, 66 na po tayo. Ayan, 67. Okay, last one minute. 10.45, start na po tayo. Excited po ba ang lahat? Good luck po ha. You only have 20 seconds for each of the questions. Wait sir, sabi ni Ma'am Susan. Sige po Ma'am Susan, hintayin po namin kayo. Join na po. Okay, we have 72 participants already. So okay na po. So let's start na po. Good luck everyone. 
Sana po mag-enjoy po tayong lahat. First question, this is the use of different communication technologies such as mobile phones to send and edit information. Sagot na po. Okay, yan. So, 36 po ang may tamang sagot. Congratulations po sa mga nakatama. Let's see kung sino po nangunguna. Okay, congratulations po to Cam, Odat, and March. Top 3 po sila. Okay? Ayan. Hindi <laughs> ko makita question. Mamild, um, balik po muna kayo dun sa Zoom para makita nyo po yung question. Then, balik po kayo sa uh, kahoot para magsagot. Ganun po kasi siya, ma'am. Opo. <laughs> Okay, next question po tayo. Question number two. Uh, this is a universal web access uh, which shares diverse information based on people from various cultures. Sagot na po. Okay, so the answer is mass participation, okay? Let's see. Okay, si El Marzan, nangunguna ka na po <laughs> with 1,692 points. Okay, next question po tayo. This is a computer app that allows you to publish, edit, and um, manipulate content. Okay, so majority ay hindi nakakuha ng tamang sagot. The correct answer is social media po. So 33 ang may mali doon. Ang dami. Social media po ang tamang sagot. So let's see yung sino po nangunguna. Si Almarzan pa rin po. Congrats. Next po. This type of image can support transparency and animation. Okay, so tama po yung marami. So GIF pong correct answer. Okay, so let's see the leaderboard. Wow, Ma'am Lailin, nanguna ka na po with 3,126 points. Okay, next question po tayo. Episodic series of audio or text files named online is called the vodcast. True or false? Correct answer is false. That should be podcast. Podcast po siya. Ang podcast is for video po. Okay. Next po. Okay. Si Elmar Zain got the first place spot with 3,518 points. Okay. Next question po tayo. Which of the following is not a presentation tool? Okay, we have streamed. Okay. Bakit? Haiku deck po is an example of a presentation tool din po. Online po kasi siya. Okay. So, let's see. Okay, si Elmar Zan pa rin po ang nangunguna. Congratulations po. Next question po tayo. Uh, this, who coined the term Web 2.0 in the article entitled Fragmented Future? Okay. 
Okay, we have Darcy Dinucci po. Hindi po si Tim Berners-Lee. Siya po kasi yung nagpasimula ng mga uh, HTML. Okay, si Tim Berners-Lee po yun. Tsaka internet. Okay, sige po. Next po. Okay, Iyang is number one na po with 4,902 points. Okay, next question po tayo. Number eight. Online course that simulate classroom setting. Ano po tawag doon? Okay, that is a courseware. Very good. Majority got the correct answer. Okay, you Merck's got the first spot. Okay, question number nine po tayo. It's an act of sending multiple emails to multiple users with malwares attached to the email. We have spoofing po. <laughs> Kasi ano po siya? Phishing po or spoofing is the same. Okay? So, we have... You marks pa rin po number one. So, last question na po tayo. Good luck everyone. A malicious program that is disguised as a useful program but leaves your PC unprotected. Okay, Trojan po yung tamang sagot. Okay, congratulations po sa mga nanalo. So let's see po yung top three natin, or top five. Here is the podium, leaderboard po natin. Number three po si Mr. C.L. Marzan. Number two si Ia. At ang number one po ay si... Humor. Okay, congratulations po kung sino man po kayo. Uh, Runner-up po si Sir Rowell at si Ma'am Cam. Okay. Ayan. <laughs> Tina Net, naglo-loading it game po ang muna. <laughs> Thanks po. Okay. Ayan po yung ating game. Congratulations po for all the winners. Thanks game ko na lang baka ano. Okay, so yan po yung ating Kahoot game. Ayan, close ko lang siya. Nag-enjoy po ba ang lahat? <laughs> sa mga nag-join po, okay po ba siya? Maganda po ba? Ayan, nag-enjoy daw po si Ma'am Caroline. Yung iba po, kamusta po yung experience? Nakakapak. Hina net, sir. Oh, yun lang din po. Kung mag internet po natin, medyo... Um, Uh, medyo mahirap pong maka-join. So, dapat medyo mabilis pa yung internet connection natin. Ayan, exciting, sabi ni Sir Mark. Sobrang enjoy according to Sir Rowell. Hindi ko po alam mga sagot. <laughs> okay lang po, pre-test lang po yan. Ayan, second place, sir, po here. Yay, yeah, congratulations, Ma'am Lea. Okay, thank you po, sir. Enjoy po kahit witang signal. Exciting, yes po. Ayan. O, di ba po nag-enjoy kayo? Kung nag-enjoy po kayo, mas mag-enjoy po yung mga bata using these apps. Okay? Ayan. Okay, ready na po tayo to go to the next uh, application. Okay, sige. Proceed po ako with thesis, ha? Um, yung paggawa po natin sa quizzes is similar with Kahoot. Okay? So, sign up, uh, sign in lang din po tayo. Okay, uh, wait lang po. Sa sign in lang po ako para makita po natin yung kanyang features. Actually, itong tatlong apps po na to, kung paano po yung ginagawa niyo sa isa, ganun din po yung gagawin natin sa iba. Kasi uh, similar lang naman po sila ng ano, parang feature. May mga additional uh, feature lang po siya na wala sa isa. Parang ganun po. So, login lang po ako using my account. Okay. So, yan. 
So, ito po. Pag nag in po tayo, uh, ito po yung agad na makikita nyo. So, sa search na po siya agad. So, ibig sabihin, pwede rin po kayo mangopya ng mga questions dito, okay, sa quizzes natin, okay? So, yan, may mga topics na po nakalagay dito. Pwede siya sa computers, sa career, sa math, English, social studies, languages, science, creative arts, and health and eating. Okay? So, dito po sa left side natin, makikita natin yung explore, which is similar with Kahoot kanina na nasa explore po tayo. Library po, nandito po yung repository ng quizzes na ginawa natin or kinopya natin. Mga reports, mga classes, kung gusto nyo pong gumawa ng each of the class. Okay, parang separated po siya sa bawat klase nyo. Pwede rin po yun. And so on. Okay, pero we'll focus on the three parts lang po. Yung explore, library, and report. So, punta po muna ako dun sa explore. Um, since I am teaching animation din, so magsa-search po ako ng animation na quiz. O, ayan. So, ayan po. Makagandahan naman po dito sa quizzes, kapag naka-search uh, naka po kayo ng mga quiz na already available on the app itself, pag-clinic nyo po siya, nagpapakita nyo po yung mga questions. Okay? Ayan. Wait lang po. Ibalik ko lang. Uh, ayan. I-hover lang po natin siya. For example, naka-hover po ako dito sa first na quiz. Makikita nyo na po yung question dito sa right side. So parang ito, ito na yung mga concept na tinuturo ko. Familiar siya. So pwede nyo na po siyang i-adapt. Okay? Pwede nyo na po siyang kopyahin. Sa, so paano natin kukopyahin yung ginawa ni um, Bigel996? Kung sino man po siya. Isa-save lang po natin siya. Click nyo lang po yung save. Tapos, uh, meron po kayong collection dito na pwede kayong gumawa ng sarili yung collection. Since ako, meron po akong tatlong collection, kiklik ko lang po yung animation kasi meron na po ako yan. And then, na-add na po yung quiz agad-agad. Nandun na po siya. And then, click nyo lang po yung close. And then, pupunta lang po kayo sa library nyo. Okay? Then, tingnan natin kung na meron na yung uh, animation na quiz na yun. So, let's see. Uh, asa na yung aking live? Ito yung aking collection. Nandito po sa right side, tapos yung animation. Click ko lang po siya. And then, andito na po yung uh, quiz na animation. Ito po. Ayan na po. Nakopya na po agad yung na-search na yun. <laughs> Ayan. Ganun lang po kasimpleng makahingi ng mga question online using these applications. Okay? So, babalik po ako sa explore. And let's see kung ma... Um, tingnan natin yung ibang mga concepts, ay mga uh, quiz, questions. O yan. Hover nyo lang po. Okay? Huwag nyo po i-click kasi pag clinic nyo po, pupunta po siya dun sa mga question. Ayan. So yan. O yan po. Okay? Ayan. So ganun lang po kadaling mag-search ng mga question on um, ano. Uh, ito naman po, kung mapapansin nyo, yung iba, quiz. Ayan po. Quiz, 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 and so on. Meron din po kasi ang feature ng quizzes na meron siyang lesson. Ito po. Kung mapapansin niyo po, si Pixar Animation, according to Pawil, pa William, okay, gumawa po siya ng isang module na ginamit niya ang quizzes. So, ayan. Pixar Animation. So, meron siyang mga... Tingnan po natin, ha? I-open ko po para makita po natin. So, ayan. So, ito po yung ginawa niya. Sa first slide niya, ito po yung kanyang title. Meron po siyang mga learning objectives. Okay, mga definition of terms, ganyan-ganyan. Tapos meron din po siyang in-integrate na video dito. Okay, ayan, hand-drawn animation samples. Okay, and then after nung ninth slide, nag-provide sa ng questions. Okay, ayan po, may mga tanong na po siya based doon sa kanyang discussion ng first few slides. Okay, so pwede rin po tayong gumawa ng ganito. Okay, ipapresent ko po sa inyo mamaya. Pero may limit lang po kasi yung number of slides kasi since we are using an, uh, a free version. Okay? So, yun po yung goal din natin kanina na sabi ko sa SAMR model na transformative learning. So, ginamit natin yung technology for um, discussions and then meron siyang additional video for that particular concept. Parang ito po. And then, after nung concept niya, meron na siyang assessment. So basically, module na po yung ginagamit natin dito pero using quizzes na po. So transformative learning na po ito. Okay, ayan. So balik po tayo sa aking library. Okay, para makagawa na po tayo ng sarili nating um, quizzes. 
Okay. Sige. So, pupunta po ako sa library ko. And then, kiklik ko lang po yung create. Okay. Ayan. So, pag clinic nyo po yung create, we have two options here. It's either a quiz or a lesson. So, napakita ko po sa inyo kanina yung difference between the two. Pero we'll start with the quiz po. Ayan. So, yung quiz payment po natin since I am teaching ICT. So, ICT uh, pretest. Okay. Tapos, andito po yung mga relevant subjects. Okay. Para pag nag-search po sila, pwede rin po nila makopy yung ginawa yung ano. Uh, question. So, this is for computers. Ah, saan po yung computer? Hindi ko makita. Physics, biology, and computers. And then, next. Okay. Ayan. Ang kagandahan naman po sa quizzes is hindi po siya nakalimit sa two objective type questions such as yung multiple choice and true or false. Dito po sa quizzes, meron tayong multiple choice. Meron po tayong check box. Meron tayong fill in the blanks. Meron pa tayong poll. At meron din po siyang open-ended question. O, di ba? Mas maraming po siyang feature compared po sa quiz. Ay, sa Kahoot. Okay? So, start po ako with a multiple choice question. Ayan. And then, aside from that, nakikita niyo na rin po yung ini-edit nyo. Okay? Real time. Na kapag pinasan po natin sa mga bata, ito po yung lalabas yung nandito sa right side. So, for example, number one po, um, what is the latest um, ato, ato, latest OS for Android? Anong ganyan po? So, ang choices should be um, similar po with Kahoot. Pwede rin po kayo maglagay dito ng mga um, math equations at saka image. Or pwede rin audio. Okay? Pwede po kayo mag provide ng questions via audio or video. Pwede rin po. Pero may limit po itong mga audio and video natin, ha? I-check nyo na lang po kung gano'ng katagal yung limit niya. Okay? Pero um, since quiz po yung gagawin ko, ito po yung um, question. So, um, meron po tayong Pi, meron tayong um, KitKat, meron po tayong Android 10. It's Android 10. At saka Android 11. So, ang sagot is Android 11. Okay? And um, pwede rin po siyang multiple answer. Ay, hindi pala pala. Kasi since this is multiple choice, one, one answer lang. Pero kung checkbox po yung gagamitin nyo mamaya, pwede po siyang multiple answers. Okay? And the good thing about quizzes, pwede rin po kayong mag-provide dito ng simple explanation bakit siya ang tamang sagot. Okay? Uh, for example, um, uh, okay. Ah, okay. Sa, sa ano pala ito? Naka-premium. <laughs> sa premium account. At hindi ko napansin, meron po na siyang Thunder. Okay. Yung Thunder po sa premium account. Sa Kahoot po yung um, check check po. Okay. So, yan. So, isave na po natin. 30 seconds na lang po yung nilagay ko. Pero pwede po natin siyang iset na 20 seconds na lang. Okay. Ayan. Tapos, new question po tayo. Um, pwede rin siyang open-ended. So, maglagay tayo dito ng, um, siguro, the question is, what is ICT? Then, pwede po kayo magdagdag ng image to support that, ano, maglagay ako, uh, DICT, ito siguro, open. And then, done, and then, save. So, pwede niyo pong iset din yung time kung ilang oras po nila sasagutan yung question na yun. Okay, ano pa ba? Um, checkbox. Ano pa pong pwede nating um, question? Example. Example of um, which of the following An example. Social network. Okay, so pwede siyang Facebook, um, Google Plus, 
is um, Twitter and Instagram. Okay, so ang tamang sagot po ay Facebook and Google Plus. Okay, so see. Ayan. So ayan. So similar din po siya sa Kahoot <laughs> sa paggawa. Tapos kung gusto niyo po siyang i-duplicate yung question or i-delete yung question, nandito lang na naman po siya. Okay? Sige. So save lang po natin siya. Okay, publish po natin siya. Ngayon, pwede po kayo maglagay din ng image for that particular um, quiz. So, ito, ito na lang inalagay ko. And then, um, language natin is English. Iset nyo rin po kung anong grade level. So, this is for grade 11. And then, pwede nyo po iset kung sino po yung makakakita ng inyong quiz. Since ako, nagamit po ako ng public so, pwede po nilang makopya yan. Pero kapag naka-private po, ibig sabihin sa inyo lang po yan. Hindi po makokopya ng iba. So, public po ako and then click save. Okay. So, ito na po yung aking pre-test with three questions. Okay? So, i-preview ko po siya para makita natin. So, ayan. So, pag preview po natin siya, pwede natin siyang i-challenge with friends, start, or pwede siyang maging flashcards. Tapos, meron po dito mga settings, such as yung timer, memes. Pwede rin po natin i-set yung power up kung gusto nung, uh, gusto yung lagyan ng power up yung mga bata. Okay? And then, team. Pwede po kayo mamili ng team. So, ito, same wave po yung gagamitin ko. And then, click start. Ayan. So, ito po yung question natin. Then, mamimili po ako ng sagot. Um, ito. Okay. Incorrect answer. May music po ito eh. Bakit hindi kayo na po? <laughs> Ayun. Naka-off on. Dapat yung music. Okay. Next question. Ayan. So, mahala na sila kung type nila dyan. Okay. And then, submit. Okay. Okay, the following example is a social network. Pwede siyang two options. Ayan. So, ganun po siya. <laughs> so, stop na natin. Okay. So, ganun po yung paggamit natin ng quizzes. Okay? So, ngayon, um, another option that we can use is yung new lesson. Ito po. So, click din po natin siya. So, ako, e-tech ito. Tapos, computers. Next. Ayan. So, ito po yung aking first slide. So, dito po, pwede po natin ilagay yung title. Tapos, kasi na po yung gumawa. Tapos, pwede nyo na pong i-edit ito. Pwede nyo lagyan ng um, picture, um, ng mga links, and so on. So, ako, gagamit po ako nito as a team. Since Empowerment Technologies po siya. Tapos, pwede nyo rin po i-customize yung background. Well, it depends on your style na po kung anong design yung gusto nyo gamitin on this particular um, uh, lesson. And sabi ko nga po sa inyo, may limit po kasi yung number of slides. Parang 10 lang po ata for free version. So, ganun po. And then, um, sa new slide ko, pwede po ako maglagay dito na it's either text slide, title slide, text and media, bullets and media, full screen media, and so on. So, ako, text and media po, kasi maglalagay ako ng picture. So, for for example, ICT, tapos uh, ICT as uh, information and communication. Communication technology is the use blah, blah, blah. So, ayan po. And then, pwede tayo maglagay ng image. So, dagdag po tayo ng image. Pwede tayo mag-search. Okay. Ayan. So, pwede nyo po siyang idagdag dyan. Tapos, insert lang po natin siya.
Okay, so ito po. Yan yung ICT natin. Tapos pwede po kayo magdagdag ng panibagong slide. Kung nai-discuss ko naman na po sa first slide, pwede na po kayo agad magpa-quiz. Okay? Or assessment. Okay? It's either multiple choice or filled in the blank and other uh, ungraded uh, activities. So, ito multiple choice na lang po ako. Ayan. So, dito na po yung question nyo. Okay? Um, ano bang pwedeng question? Hmm. This computer virus is um, around uh, is sent through email through email. Okay, this computer virus is sent through email. So, pwede natin ilagay yung answers. The I sagot dito. Um, we have worm, we have um, trojan, we have um, fishing, and meron din tayo dito farming. farming. So pwede siyang fishing. Okay, yan. Tapos add new slide and so on. So ganun po, pwede po kayong gumawa ng module using quizzes. Tapos once na nagawa niyo na po ito, pwede na po natin siyang isave. Okay, tapos pwede kayo maglagay ng images dito. Ako sa ICT na lang. Okay, tapos yung English, tapos yung grade level po natin. And then yung kung sino po yung pwede makakita. So ako, uh, public po. And then save. Ayan. So yan, meron na po akong lesson <laughs> using quizzes. Tsaka may assessment na din po yan agad-agad. Okay. So kinoconvert po natin yung conventional module nyo na na-printed po into technological uh, innovation. Parang ganun po. Okay po. And then um, para makita rin po natin yung masasagutan ng bata, ikiklik nyo lang po yung preview. Okay. And so start lang po natin. So ang um, pacing po nito, mga ma'am sir, pwede nyo po siyang i-assign as a homework or pwede rin po na teacher pace. So kayo po yung magse-set ng pacing niya. So pwede po kayo mag-set ng session na uh, ito yung magiging discussion natin for the whole uh, period, parang ganun. Okay? So ayan po yung ating PowerPoint. So kanyari nag introduction na po kayo dyan. And then yan, next slide. Then, nindiscuss na po natin ang um, about ICT and so on, mga different viruses and um, computer attacks and so on. Tapos, dito na po. Pwede na po tayo magpa-assess dun sa mga bata. Sasagutan po nila yan. They only have 20 seconds to answer. And then, okay. Yan. So, ganun po. And then, save and exit. Okay. So yan. So ito po yung ating quizzes application. Okay? Sige. So babalik na po ako sa library at um, let's test po yung aking mga quiz dito. Okay? So kanina itek po yung concept natin. So ngayon naman, subukan natin yung animation. <laughs> Try mo natin yung animation. Ito, principles of I20 question kasi ito. Uh, 20 questions. Action script, review time. Anong tanong pa? Ah, okay. Subukan po natin yung introduction to ICT. Ito, introduction to animation review. Ito, ginawa ko po ito eh. Puro question lang din po. Ayan. Okay, sige po. <laughs> Sige, let's try to answer this question po. Start po ako ng live quiz. Okay, ito po yung sinasabi ko kanina na pwede nyo siyang i-assign na sa homework or pwede siyang live quiz. Um, dito po sa live quiz natin, it can be classic or instructor piece. Uh, pag sinabi po natin siyang classic, uh, student progress po. So, nakadepende po yung time sa pagsagot ng bata. Okay? Sa instructor piece, kayo po yung nakaset kung kailan mag-move from one question to another. Pero instructor piece po muna tayo. Okay? So dito po sa ating settings, 
sa set po natin yan. May timer po siya, leaderboard. Pwede rin po natin i-shuffle yung question. Okay, para iba-iba yung sagu ay iba-iba yung question na nakikita ng bawat bata. Okay? So ako po i-shuffle ko po yan para makita nyo at saka play music. Name factory po kung gusto niyo si quizzes na ang gagawa ng mga pangalan niyo po or pangalan ng mga bata, pwede niyo po siyang i-check, i-check. Pero um uh, pangalan niyo na lang po yung gusto kong makita. Okay? So continue lang po tayo. Okay, so ito po yung pupuntahan natin, joinmyquiz.com. Ito po yung ating game code. Okay, tapos join na po tayo. So this is introduction to animation. Okay, so join na po tayo mga ma'am sir using your phones or your laptops and computers. Uy, bilis. Meron na po agad, dalawa agad. Okay. Ma'am Julian, yung 10 slide limit po ba for lesson includes the slide for the question na din? Yes po, Ma'am Julian. Opo. So, kung nagtuturo po kayo sa elementary, Ma'am, um, pwede po yan. <laughs> kung baga parang concept po, tapos next slide is question, ganun. Okay. Parang ganun po siya, Ma'am Julian. Okay. So, let's see. We have... 20 participants already. So kung kanina po, yung question po ay manggagaling sa akin, ngayon po, yung question ay nandun na po mismo sa inyong application. Okay. So ganun po siya. So we have 30 participants at 11.20, start na po tayo. Uh, I'll give you 3 minutes po to join, mga ma'am sir. Sa mga nasa live din po, <laughs> pwede rin po kayong mag-join. Okay. Di ako makapasok, sabi ni Ma'am Jackie. Ma'am, i-reload nyo lang po, tapos try nyo po mag-login ulit. Okay, 39 participants na po tayo. Two minutes pa po. So pag nagpa-play na po kayo sa mga bata, ganito lang din po yung makikita nila pag nagsisynchronous session po kayo para makapag-join po sila sa ating games. Okay, so 46 na po. May habol pa po ba? Two minutes pa. Ayan, 50 participants sa butayo. Sana may idea po kayo about animation, ha? <laughs> Mga concepts about animation. Okay, last one minute po to join. Habul-habul po tayo mga ma'am, sir. 90 po yung participants sa Zoom. Okay, 55 na po tayo. Last one minute. Okay, I guess wala na po. Sige, good luck po sa ating lahat. Sana po mag-enjoy po tayo dito sa ating quizzes, um, gamified assessment. Okay, start na po tayo. Good luck po.
Okay, so let's see. The correct answer is... Okay, nangunguna po si Random, kung sino man po siya. The correct answer is Steamboat Wheelie po. Ang tawag po natin sa Disney's flagship program. Kung familiar po kayo si Mickey na ano, nag-drive po ng kanyang boat, <laughs> so yun po yung flagship program po ng Disney. Hindi po Looney Tunes. Okay po. Next question po tayo. Good luck everyone. This was the first computer-generated imagery filmed by Disney. Okay, time's up. Let's see. Sino po nanguna sa ating game? Okay, si Random pa rin po. Sino si po si Random? <laughs> random po yung pangalan niya. Okay. Ang sagot po natin is Toy Story. Okay? Next question po tayo. Good luck everyone. Praxinoscope was invented by who? Okay, time's up. Let's see. Okay, random pa rin. Nangunguna. Nice. Okay, the correct answer is Charles Emil Reynold. Next question po tayo. This is an outline and plan of an animated story using scenes. Okay, time's up. The result is... Oh, ang galing naman ni Random. <laughs> Nangunguna po talaga siya. Sino po ito? May I know the name? Ako pa tayo no idea about animation. <laughs> Sino po si Random? <laughs> okay, the correct answer is storyboard. Okay, next question po tayo. The following are principles of cinematography, except... Time's up, so let's see. Okay, so random pa rin po. Okay, ang correct answer is scenes and view. Okay, next po. First feature length film to be made entirely of hand-drawn images. Okay, time's up. <laughs> wow, Random and Gerald. Nangunguna po silang dalawa. The correct answer is we have Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Next question po tayo. Um, animator job. <laughs> Creates websites, videos, and advertising games, educational materials. Okay, the correct answer is we have your Flash Animator. Okay, nice. Next question po.
Should you make appealing visuals when making the animation? True or false? Yes or no pala? <laughs> yes or no? Okay, syempre yes po yan. <laughs> Which is the goal of animation is to have an appeal. Okay. Nice. Okay, now na po si Sir Gerald. Okay, next question. Oh, may sagot na agad. Animation is primarily used for what? Okay, time's up po. Ayan. Siyempre, for entertainment po yan. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. Iba na po yung top five natin. Last question po. Good luck sa ating lahat. Okay. Illusion of movement. What does the illusion of movement mean? Okay, let's see. Yes, okay. End ko na po yung quiz. At tingnan natin ang ating leaderboard. Ayan. So, congratulations po sa ating mga winners. Third po si Nice. Second po si Random. At first po si Sir Gerald. Congratulations. Ayan. So, dito po sa ating quizy, sa result summary natin, kung mapapansin nyo po, meron po dito yung mga questions at saka yung tamang sagot. ng uh, eh, kung, naka, kung tama po nila o mali nila bawat Uh, estudyante. So makikita nyo po dito yung mga nag-participate at mga hindi nag-participate ng mga estudyante. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. So ito po yung ating question. Ay, ito po yung ating summary. At kung mapapansin nyo rin po with quizzes, meron po siyang mga analytics na pinapresent. For example, yung class accuracy ba? Ano yung mga toughest question? Ano yung longest question? At saka mga interesting facts. Meron nyo po yung makikita dito. Okay? At pwede nyo na rin po i-download yung result agad-agad para makita nyo po yung points. Okay? Uh, pwede nyo rin po siyang elect record later on. Okay? Congratulations everyone. Sana po nag-enjoy po tayo. We are not taking at teachers of ICT so we can train the game. Sorry, but it's not our language. Ah, okay. But still participating to no more. Sige po, Sir Salome. <laughs> okay lang po yan. Opo. Gusto ko po yung email ng parents. Very engaging na nakakatawa. Opo, opo. I rank fourth in the leaderboard. Congratulations, Sir Jerry. And daming learnings. Thanks, Sir. Okay, Mark Dave ta kanina. Thank you po sa mga feedback natin. Okay. Ayan. So, Uh, last na po tayo, okay, uh, for the applications. I-present ko na lang din po yung ano, game kit. Last na po ito. Ayan. Okay. So, ang game kit naman po ay another online assessment or gamified tool na pwede po natin gamitin. And... Um, Ito po yung kanyang features. So, answers. Uh, student answer question on their own device at their own pace. So, own pacing po ito. Um, similar with quizzes na pwede natin iset yun. Uh, through a kit, in each student will get exposure to the questions multiple times to ensure mastery. So, pwede po nilang uh, sagutan siya paulit-ulit para ma-master po nila yung concept na yun. Pero, pwede nyo pong iset yung limit kung ilang minutes lang po nila pwede siyang sagutan. Okay? Tapos dito po, pwede po sila mag-earn. Nasabi ko po sa inyo kanina to na 
habang nagsasagot po sila, may makukuha silang dollars. Okay, di ba? So, hindi po siya points, pero dollars. Okay? So, every time po na nakakasagot kayo in each of the question, for example, yung first question natin is $1. Uh, second question natin, $2. Parang ganun. Third question natin, magiging $5 and so on. So, padamihan po ng pera yan. Okay? And then, uh, shop. Pwede rin po kayong bumili ng mga upgrades and power apps using GameKit. Okay? And there's always new ways to play using the GameKit application. Kasi meron po siyang mga um, type of different games na pwede yung integrate. Kung familiar po kayo dun sa anong game na yun. Um, basta meron mo yung mga teams um, na game. Maki- makikita natin mamaya. Nakalimutan ko na yung pangalan. Tapos pwede siyang homework, keep collab, and so on. So login lang po ako using my account. Okay, continue with Google po kasi Google account po yung gagamitin ko. Okay, so lalagin lang po ako sa aking game kit. Ayan. So ito po yung lalabas na uh, sa ating um game kit na application. So dito po <laughs> kung mapapansin niyo mas simple po siya when it comes to its features. Ayan po. Ito lang po yun talaga yung game kit natin. Ayan yung kits natin. May mga assignments, may mga classes, news at inklets. Pero dito po sa game kit, hindi po siya katulad ng Kahoot at Quizzes na pwede po kayong mag-search ng mga items or question. Talagang kayo po talaga yung gagawa nung ating mga um, quizzes. Okay? So, dito po, para makagawa po tayo ng sarili nating question, i-click nyo lang po yung new kit. Okay? Click lang po natin siya. Tapos yung name ng kit. Okay? So, for example, ICT. And then next. Tapos pwede na po kayo mamili ng image dito. And then, dito po sa question, um, pwede tayong mag-add ng question, create flash cry, card, or collaborate with kit collab, and so on question bank kung may mga existing questions sa po kayo or pwede rin po kayo mag-import from spreadsheet kung meron po kayong mga questions dun sa inyong Excel file. Okay? So since ako, gagawa lang po ako ng question, ito po yung lalabas. So similar din po siya with the uh, two applications na present ko po kanina. So uh, provide lang po tayo ng question. Siguro, ganito, what is ICT? Ganyan. Tapos correct answer information communication technology was uh, other ano na to nangyari ganyan na lang po <laughs> ICT 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 oh, parang et pero ito po yung correct answer natin so pwede rin po kayong maglagay ng mga pictures na katulad po nung two apps na pinasend ko at pit audio and photo din po okay so click add And then, ito na po yung first question natin. So, dito po, napaka-simple lang po talaga nung paggawa dito. Hindi po katulad nung dalawa na medyo maraming pasikot-sikot. Okay? So, add question. Ganito po ulit. Tapos, pwede nyo rin pong tanggalin yung mga other options. Eh, paano na nga ba tanggalin yun? Ayan. Four, question, four answers po ang pwede natin ilagay. Okay? And so on. So, balik lang po ako dun sa aking ginawa. So, ito po ICT. Uh, meron po akong ginawa dito na questions, technology. Ito na lang. So, ito. Dito po sa technology questions na ginawa ko, nag-include po ako ng mga pictures. Ayan po. Ayan. Para mas madali pong masundan ng mga bata kung ano yung tamang sagot. <laughs> Ayan. Okay. Sige. So mag-live po tayo ng isang game. Um, pre-test, currency, animation. Ito na lang, pre-test. Play live. Ito po yung sinasabi ko kanina mga features na pwede nyong <coughs> ipalaro sa mga bata. So pwede siyang fish, fishtopia. So kapag tignik po natin dito, ma I learn more po natin. Ayan. So meron po siyang mga instruction on how to do the Uh, assessment. 
So dito sa Fishtopia, you and your students are, uh, are in entirely new 2D world, complete with characters, location, and explore. So ang core game natin dito is to answer the question, to earn a bait. Tapos um, gagamitin nila yung bait para makahuli, makahuli ng isda. Tapos kailangan isal natin yung fish for a cash. Okay, so yun po, pwede siya ganyan ang gagamitin natin sa Fishtopia. Meron din naman yung game na Among Us Inspired. Familiar po kayo dun sa Among Us. Ito po siya, Trust No One Among Us. So learn more tayo. So dito po, um, students are split between crewmates and imposters. So they both answer the question to earn power. Crewmates can use their power to run investigations and other players and so on. So imposters can use their power to sabotage crewmates operations, and so on. So, pwede rin po at natin gamitin to. Trust no one. Pwede rin po siyang teams. So, kapag team tayo, students can compete in teams. So, yan po. Pero since ang gagamitin ko po muna is classic, classic po muna tayo. Okay? So, continue lang po. And then dito, uh, settings po natin. So, lalagyan po natin siya ng time. Kasi kapag hindi nyo po siya tinayman, paulit-ulit lang po yung question. Okay? So, since 10 question lang po siya, siguro kahit mga 3 minutes, pwede na pong masagutan niya ng 3 minutes. Ay, hindi. Taglagan na lang natin. 4 minutes. Okay? Depende sa pacing po ng estudyante natin yan. Tapos, race 2. Since money nga po yung kailangan nating uh, makuha. Um, ilang thousand kaya? Race 2, 20,000 lang. Okay, mag 20,000 dollars tayo. Tapos wag all in tayo, 5. Okay, abot lang tayo ng 100. Okay, 100 dollars. Okay, so class natin. So kayo na pong bahala maglalagay ng mga pangalan nyo dyan. Start cash natin. Ilang dollars po kailangan nyo <laughs> para maka 20,000 po tayo. Mag-set po kayo ng ilang dollars po kailangan nyo. Kailangan nyo po ba ng 100 dollars? <laughs> Bigyan ko po kayo 100 dollars. Ay, 20,000 na agad, Sir Alan. <laughs> Sige, bigyan ko po muna kayo ng um, $10 lang to start. Okay, $10 po muna tayo. Answer check, music, clapping. Okay, set na lang po natin as default. Clean power-ups. Allow power-ups that don't hurt other players. O, sige, power-up po tayo. Join in date. Sige po, yung mga malili comers. Okay, continue lang po tayo. 10 questions lang po ito. Pwede nyo na po sagutan in 4 minutes. Okay, so punta po tayo sa gamekit.com slash join and enter the code 15-19-60. Dapat maka $20,000 po tayo ha. <laughs> okay. So, hintayin ko po kayo until 11.33. Five minutes. Okay, si Yan, meron na po tayong mga players. Wow, oh, bilis nila. <laughs> 11 players na po tayo. Eleven thirty, ay eleven forty three po start po tayo. Forty three pala, eleven thirty nine na pala. Okay, twenty three players na po. We have four minutes pa po before we start. Payamanan po tayo dito ha. <laughs> Good luck po sa ating lahat. Okay, last three minutes po. Yung mga gusto pa pong mag-join, join lang po tayo.
Okay, last two minutes po. Habol-habol po yung mga gusto sumali. Anong topic natin, sir? Um, ICT po ulit. <laughs> ICT po ulit. Okay, 53 players na po. Okay, 55 na. Last one minute po. Yung mga habol, habol na po. Hello world. Ay, may mga programmer po ata dito. <laughs> mga kasama kong IT peeps. Okay, 58 players. Baka abot po po ng 60. Habol po yung dalawa. <laughs> Okay, sige. Parang wala na po ata. Okay, good luck po sa ating lahat. We'll start the game. Four minutes po yung ating game. Um, pag natapos niyo po yung first 10 question, pwede niyo pang ulitin yung sagot niyo. Okay, good luck po. mga cash na po, pwede po kayong bumili ng mga power-ups. Ipon-ipon po kayo para makapag-power-up po kayo.
Congrats. Okay, last one minute po, and then we can end the game. Congratulations po sa mga nanalo. So, si Sir J, meron siyang $106. Mamriya has $103. And Glensky has $102. Congratulations po. <laughs> wow. Ilan na yan pag convert natin to into cash? <laughs> Magkano na po yan sa cash? That's 50. 5,000? 5,000 pesos? <laughs> Sayang nga po, hindi po siya ano eh. Hindi po siya nawi-withdraw. <laughs> Ayan, congratulations po. So, ito po yung ating game kit application. Ayan. I'm at major here, pero nakachamba. <laughs> congratulations, Ma'am Catherine. Ayan, sige po. Okay, so yun po yung ating tatlong application. So, sana po nag-enjoy po kayo lahat. <laughs> sa ating mga apps. Sana po ma-integrate nyo siya later on sa mga classes natin. Ma'am Rika? Ay, Sir Edsel, yeah. Ma'am Catherine, may question po kayo? Wala po, Sir. Sir, hindi po kayo masyadong audible. Sorry po, hindi ko po marinig. Sir Edsel? Sir, okay na po ba? Medyo mahina po talaga yung audio. <laughs> Sige, sir. Ano po yung question nyo? Oh, wala pa akong question, sir. Ay, okay. Nag-raise po kasi yun yung hand. Si Ma'am, ano? Catherine. Lang po ako, sir. Ay, okay po. Ma'am Catherine, may question po kayo? 
Eh, wala din. Okay na po ako, Mamrika, <laughs> for the first session. So, yes. apo. Uh, yes po. Acknowledge ko lang po, Sir Jeric, uh, yung ating one of the focal persons po ng ILCDB and also the provincial officer po ng the ICT Quirino Province, um, Engineer Maggie. Oh, Mama Magdalena D. Gomez. Hi, ma'am. Good morning po. Hello, ma'am. Good morning po. Good morning. Oh, pati ako naging enjoy. <laughs> I just want to join. Hello, everyone po. Hi, ma'am. Yes po. Okay, so, ayan. I believe, Sir Jeric, no, na nag-enjoy yung ating mga teachers, yung ating mga participants in our morning session. And also po uh, yung ating mga viewers sa ating Facebook Live. Let me just check po yung kanilang mga comments. Meron pong nag-third place dito sa ating <laughs> Facebook Live. And si Ma'am Glenelyn Pudan. Wow, yeah. congratulations po Ma'am Glenelyn. Uh, <laughs> and we have as well po yung nag-participate from Ortega. Elementary School, Baknotan District Division of La Union. Hello po. Uh, Ma'am Maria Ganyola. Hello po from our Facebook Live. Apayaw Division as well, Ma'am Evelyn. Hello po, shout out po sa inyo. <laughs> and from Sanitas Elementary School, San Fabian, Pangasinan. So marami po tayong from Pangasinan. Mm -hmm. And University of Eastern Pangasinan, Ma'am Maureen Handok. Ayan. University of La Union. Ayan, si Ma'am Lina Huganas. Ayan, so thank you po sa mga nagpa-participate po from our Facebook Live. And of course po sa ating uh, participants from the Zoom Room. Ayan, congrats po and I hope and I believe naman po na nag -e enjoy kayo Ayan, sa ating mga activities. Okay, so time check po tayo. It's 11.54. Okay, so uh, we will be continuing our training proper later at exactly 1 p.m. po. So stay tuned po tayo. Ayan, so I, uh, may I request as well everyone na uh, wag na lang po tayong mag-quit sa ating Zoom room kasi may mga nagjo-join po. Baka mamaya po is makuha po nila yung slot ninyo. Ayan, dahil po may mga willing po na hindi naka-join, nag-join uh, na lang po sila ng Facebook Live. Okay, so thank you so much, Sir Jarek. Uh, we'll have our lunch break and we'll continue later at 1 p.m. Happy lunch po. Happy lunch po. See you for this afternoon. Bye po. Bye po.